Malibu R. Malibu R. Caribbean rum with coconut oh, liqueur we say, is perfect you're about to get when the sun is setting up. <laughs> and the good times are flowing thanks to its smooth, fresh taste. That sun-kissed island feeling is only a sip away. So, so that's Jack, Malibu. Can I see water. that bottle? Also, uh, so can we talk about the? Why warrant? does it look like a dildo? I want to talk about what, uh, what that the Jack's... fuck dildos are you look looking at? This at? Big white fucking <laughs> insertable bottle. <laughs> Not every bottle is a dildo. Why are you, you insert that in? I like that he called it big and white. Are those the prerequisites for you for I a mean, dildo? Look at this thing. It's like all. It's like ribbed in here. What's that? Uh, well, okay. Are you know what you mean? Is that like a no, thing yes, you can that's do? Yes, that's what go. all bottles you have. <laughs> you don't go, look yeah, how ribbed it is. It's like, uh, look at that lip it has on it. Look at that opening right, it has that you pour shit out of. That's more dildo than anything. Look at this Look at this vagina looking bottle. I want to glaze over the fact he was like getting down to here on the bottle. That's how far it was. You get in. This smells hey. like Schlitterbahn. Ooh. Sorry. Schlitterbahn? <laughs> okay, first smell off. It. it does. <laughs> See? It does. <laughs> See? I'm not joking. Yep. Okay, first Welcome off. Welcome to Off Topic. There it is. Uh, brought to you this week by not Malibu, <laughs> but CISO <laughs> and Blue Apron. Hey! CISO and Blue Apron. Thanks, guys. Ooh. For sponsoring this episode of Off Topic. Hi. It smells like Schlitterbahn. Today, uh, we've got... Jeremy. Matt. Jack. Gus. Ryan. That's and Malibu. That's and about Malibu. a shot, there right? Yeah, you went and snagged some Malibu oh, from over there, huh? I went, I did. No, for the record, did. like if there's anyone's gonna get in trouble. Yeah, because we're not allowed to steal alcohol off other well, sets. You keep saying you that! Everyone's, you, everyone's like, we're not allowed to Just steal it, it as time. they're taking the bottle. Well, they're talking about from the, uh... Well, that's not what show is Always open. Oh, Always sorry, open. Sorry, I had to use the drown show, it's probably get some more I mean, the show where they're doing alcohols. This is anarchy. The show has started and somebody has already walked off set. That's right, Gus, that's what we do here. That's what we do here, Gus. Oh, but I wanted to talk about the, the, there's a warrant out for Jack's arrest. Oh, yeah. Wait, oh, what? Yeah. That's why he has to okay, not Jack be on camera that when he gets back. Yeah, wait to tell the story as he's walking away. <laughs> well, I just, um, I said to Ryan before this, as I Gus went over to this. get some alcohol, and maybe it was Matt, uh, that the last time I took alcohol from the Always Open set, I had a, I had a dream that night with Barbara in it, and I'm not joking. So was she mad, that or was she, she like, cool? Barbara doesn't get mad, and she's been in, like, two dreams of mine. <laughs> Both, but she doesn't get mad. Though. Was the Malibu bottle <laughs> Both there? Both times, or? Aaron was also there. So I think my brain lumps right. them together. Continue. And also, I think both times, um, in, she was like taking clothes off, but not in a sexual way. In, because like, she a, was just mad. In, like about a why are you doing really that? Like, asexually stripping. <laughs> oh, you, know, you. I mean, the tits but were you out. You were involved. But you were involved in the last one. It here's, just keeps getting better. Here's how the dream Go started. On. All right. Okay. This was the other night. Oh, I had a dream. You, I was, I was uh, recording a let's play. It was me, Michael, and Gavin. And Gavin pissed me off in it, and all I wanted to do was tell Gavin I hate him, but I can't do it because of the agreement I made with him that the I agreement. can't hate him for a right. year. And I was like, this is killing me, Gavin. It's killing me that I can't hate you for a year. Like, it literally hurts me. <laughs> and he was like, he's like, all right, Jeremy, I'll make you a deal. Like, we don't, like, you don't, you can hate me again, that thing's off, but you have to get a video of Ryan with no clothes on. That's it told me. <laughs> and like and my brain accepted yeah. the fact that Gavin didn't want this video. He just wanted me to go through the ordeal of trying to convince Ryan to do it. Um, well, it also sounds very Gavin-like. Yes, you right, really exactly. all the characters. My brain knows. <laughs> and so then I was like at a Rooster Teeth party and I was talking about the fact that I had to do this and Barbara was there and Barbara's like, well, you could tell Ryan that he could take his clothes off, but still cover up stuff so that you can't see anything, and then he'll do it. Because then there's and no- And Barbara thought that would work. And then yeah. she's like, watch, I'll show you. And then she took her clothes off, I was covering her, and Aaron was behind her covering her as well. And I was like, you could have just told me that. <laughs> and then Jack was sitting next to me going, yeah, that's true. And then I woke up. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was the last thing you heard. Like, I oh. have several dreams at Rooster Teeth parties, and you're always there, and you're always, like, not fun, but I love that about you. <laughs> I, had, I had a dream a couple nights ago that I was the Flash, oh, and nice. I was down, like, at our old Ralph Albaneda studio. Like, you know, there was, like, a drugstore, like a Walgreens or something around the corner. I was in the parking lot of the Walgreens, and I found dog shit. So as a prank, I started running really fast because I was the Flash, and oh. putting it under people's feet as they were walking. <laughs> So that everyone was stepping in dog shit. The thing is, and if I you woke were up, the Flash, you would. Yeah. I woke yeah. up and I was like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Oh, man. Uh, oh, yeah, so I'm getting arrested. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jack okay. got a message So I got a voicemail, like, like, literally just before we started. Yeah. Hang on, I'll see if I can play it here. Uh, Microsoft Mike is coming for me, man. So. It, it, was, it was during the T.O.P. song, so it was really killing my high. Matt, we got to get into I, what you're doing we'll do in a second. Eventually. Oh. I don't know if this will go. Is it going? I have speaker on. 
It's not going. It's not going, dude. Yeah, he's playing. It's not though. You want me to read it? Yeah, read it, 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 read says, it like, like my this call. Is now to, you got to read it the way you, the way you yeah. can through. Hey, hey, this hey, call hey, is hey. to inform you that there is a lawsuit has been filed good. under your name and rest warning has been issued to get more information yes. about this case file. Give us a call back at our toll free number at blah blah blah. I repeat, blah blah blah. Thank you and have a nice day. All right, call him back. <laughs> yeah. Have a nice day, criminal. I don't know. Oh, should I call him back? Yeah, you maybe we should call him back, back and be we'll like, see uh, it's not, it's, I don't know. So if it's like another, like another oh, male. Hey, man, also, he's yeah, kind of scared. It's a legitimate loss. Yeah, like, <laughs> I had a phone call the other day from a dude uh, with a really thick Indian accent who was calling me on behalf of the U.S. federal government. Oh, oh shit. Mm. He wanted to let me know that because I filed my taxes on time and I was not arrested in the last six months, that the government was going to give me $9,000. Whoa! Holy wow. shit. What That's a nice. deal. Grand. I let him go on for a while, then I, was, I just hung up. <laughs> and then he like immediately called back. I was like, oh, I guess we got disconnected. I was like, no, I know it's a scam. <laughs> it's not going to work. Have you been, there's been more scam voicemails lately. Have you had the robot lady who who knows she's a robot but oh, won't yeah. tell you? Yeah. That's creepy. The one that's like, ha 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 ha. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> it's, like, like, really. it's, it's an automated message very clearly. No, they but don't then you say go, no. But then right. you go, are you a robot? She goes, oh, do I sound that bad? And I was like, yeah, yeah. you're a robot. <laughs> and then it just keeps going. And it's just, yeah. Yeah, so you, you should just start, start saying, like, really demeaning things towards machines like humans first. Robots <laughs> suck. You'll never rise up. You're just a fax machine. You wish you were the Terminator. You don't toast with Here's fire. You're talking into a, basically a robot brain to communicate that. So then your, your cell phone's got to turn on you. You got to be careful now. Mm. Well, no, just They're give all it, listening. Just give it a paradox True. and you hear the other side of the phone explode. There you go. Yeah. I'll solve the whole problem. Some kind of logical <laughs> yeah. circle, something yeah. it can't escape. Yeah. What's the sound of one hand clapping? Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't, don't let them know. <laughs> don't let them know, Jack. You're giving up our biggest secrets. That's why you're going to get arrested. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, so, man. Matt walked in here, and I know that, Matt, you're not a big drinker. Not really, no. You don't drink a lot. So, he goes over and grabs his glass, like, of, and, and right here is a great mixer with, with soda. Look, and Gus brought us rum. Yeah, that was after. That it was after I'd already done It this. does smell like Schlitterbach. But, but also, like, there's Maker's Mark right here, which I love Maker's Mark. There's... Gin, which isn't a good mixer, but it's okay. Matt grabs this, the, which I was doing shots with Trevor last week in this. Look, it's salmiaki. It's salmiaki. The stuff, it's the stuff I brought back from Finland. It's salty licorice. It's so liquor. gross. Super last, salty. Last Super time salty. I was on off topic, I had that. I mean, and like, and no, he threw it in there and mixed it with Coke. It's, well, no, I remember it tasting okay, but having like a weird kick. And That's I was, the salt. I was it's, I'm not going to drink it. It's a vodka? Is it? You got to try it. Have you read the front? In the village of Koskenkorva, we make a smooth, honest vodka. Um, we've honest. added Scandinavian salty candy to create a spicy <laughs> licorice liqueur. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Is that that's what you're not, tasting? That's yeah. not yeah. a location where it's from on the front. There's a little bar that says location. It's very salty. Location. Little bar. Oh, from, from a village. Yeah. <laughs> from a village. That's my favorite part. That's actually a oh, city in, in the story. Finland. We know it's Providence. I live in a village, Helsinki. Oh no 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 no! That's everything I hate. Yeah, it's it's like it's it's worse. It's, it's like salty black licorice. It's yeah, worse exactly. than Jagermeister. Salty black licorice. Like I'm not a big um, Jagermeister fan, but that's worse than Jagermeister. Why did you bring when it? Because I was going to drink it. Empty, by the way, broadcast. We need another one. I was going to see if I could smell it. If there's any smells left, when it was I can smell when it was you. fresh, it was just you know okay. And yeah, that's, that's bad too. It's the best I expected. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, not into it. Uh, there is another Coke there. I, I believe that's probably for Matt. But so, Michael and Lindsay died in a car accident. Yeah, they did. That's sad. Uh, rest in peace. That was really sad. Uh, the baby lived, though. It's Lindsay fine. The baby's fine. It's, it's actually uh, it's starting work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've had it come on all weekend yeah. because. Yeah. You know, no, they're fine. Get up to speed. They got into a car accident yesterday. Oh. Lindsay's dealing with that already. <laughs> the yeah. last two days has been dealing with it, so that yeah. sucks. And Michael's off filming Laser Team, too. Yay. Yeah. This has been the. the Gavin, Gavin, who knows what Gavin. The three of us are the only ones in that room. Yeah. yeah. For the past two days, it's just been us, and then Lindsay was there for a couple of days. Yeah. yeah. Je Jeff poked in for a little minute. Like, Jeff and I, I was that. Michael. What was it? Yeah, Jeff and yeah, Michael, Michael showed yeah. up on Monday or Because they had that interview. Yeah, they had an interview to do, so we shot another, uh, while they were there, we shot another Seven Days to Die. And then they had to leave early for an interview, and we we're like, okay, we'll keep playing. And then Jeremy just quit. It's <laughs> like, all right, it'll be a short episode. Oh yeah, and well, Michael, like, <laughs> I mean, I was like, we got to morning. Like, all right, yeah, see you guys. And it was morning, so I was yeah. like, see you guys. And then I like was just sitting there, my recording was done and everything, and I heard Jack being like, okay, so if we build this over here and then move, it, I was like, are you guys still playing right now? <laughs> <laughs> I was just we trying talked to get, about that. Yeah, I, I was know. just getting to a place to quit. Yeah. I know we talked about it, but yeah, I'm not gonna hear that. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that morning too, the one that Michael had the interview, he called me at like eight, eight twenty, eight thirty, and was like, "Hey, I just got in my car. I'm supposed to go to the link and record some 
uh, lines for uh, whatever, uh -huh. for like something. And mm -hmm. he was like, I can't, my car's broken. Like it wouldn't start. So you, so you flew him to the moon. I was just like, well, and I. The moon's hard to find. I was like, I can come get you. Do I need? Because I only had, I had the Mustang that day. I didn't have the Mazda. And I was like, so I can come pick you up. Is Lindsay coming? And he's like, I think so. I was like, all right. Well, then you have to climb in the back because uh, <laughs> yeah. pregnant woman's not gonna be able to get in there. <laughs> and um, so I came and picked him up. Lindsay decided to stay back and like call AAA or whatever. And I've never been there before. I don't know how to get you there. Michael's like, well, I'll pull up my well, GPS. I mean, That's fine. And I had GPS in the car. So. Yeah. Put in the location in the car, and Michael puts it on the thing. And I'm just shit at directions. I can't do it. Like, it will say where to go, and I'll be like, all right, that's where I go. And then as soon as I'm within, like, 0.2 miles, I panic. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fuck it up. And then I do fuck it up. That's so true. I, I ended up getting into, like, Austin Highway traffic that nice. I didn't need to be in. And Michael's like, I'm supposed to be there at 9. And it was now, like... 9, 10, 9, 15, and I'm like, all right, all right. He's clearly, like, yeah. regretting like, a lot of things. I was like, we'll get you there. He was still on Earth, we'll, so. We'll, like, I'll, yeah. I'm yeah. going to get you there by, like, 9, 15. We'll get so you that rocket. It'll be, you'll, you'll be fine. I ended up getting there at, like, 9, 35, oh, because, God. like, not only did I hit that traffic because I had to, like, U-turn and stuff, but, like, I did that, and then I fucking missed the exit. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing we were decided it was because I was looking at my GPS, but Michael's was saying different uh, things. Uh -huh. And so I was like, okay, I know where I'm going. Then I'd be like, turn right. And I'd be like, oh, go on. And like, I hit the wrong thing. That's, just, like, that's like me driving in Boston. Oh, yeah. The worst city in Boston. the world to drive in. <laughs> I drove yes. with you in Boston one time. No yeah, yeah, agreement. Okay. It sucks. No, there's no disagreement. It sucks. Most cities are like the grid pattern. Like yeah. Boston, yeah. you know, first, second. And it's the same with New York and everything. Boston is like archaic roads, yeah. like yeah. where it's they like, set it up. And you're just, going to the intersection of eat shit and fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. San Antonio is like that too. San Antonio is a spoke system where it's like the Alamo mm -hmm. and everything spokes out from the Alamo. So it's all circles. And it's so, like the same road will have like nine different names depending on when you're on it. All you have to do is remember the Alamo. Ah. Uh, I like that you were like, you had your drink ready. You'd be like, say your line. That's <laughs> professional, yeah. not like fucking Jeremy over here. Going to the moon? I know. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I know a professional. Trevor sent me a message and kind of yelled at me a little bit. All right. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> He's pretty on top That's of how that. how quick it goes. Also, Barbara told me it wasn't a dream. Oh. Both what? of those popped up <laughs> on my phone. Well, uh, on the bright side, she did not mention the Malibu. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That was totally Gus. I've, I've directed attention away yeah, you, from There you go. She's <laughs> geared away. She knew which fight she could win. There. So, <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, what are you holding right oh, now? Oh, I'm just playing around with Someone's those. Someone sends Christ. us weapons. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow, that's quick to react. They have that. Uh, so, the Raptor Claw. Yeah, so someone sent Ryan the most deadly. Apparently, they said it was the most deadly knife they've ever oh, had. I you know how they dispute point that because it's. I'm terrified of holding it most of the time. Yeah. The person who sent it wrote in the letter, like, my brother Toby says these are the most deadly knives. Toby or, said it? Or whoever. Toby said it. Shit. And I was like, they so, hold the most dangerous I was like, knife. not only that, you're probably like some young. Girl, <laughs> like, because her, her, her put name a was. You put a finger. You put your yeah. pinky in there. Yeah. yeah. Or you can hold it the other way too. So that way you can spit it. Oh, around that makes more sense. Yeah. Then you like punch too. Yeah. There you go. Jesus Christ. But it has the neck holder too. I like that you just carry it around. Yeah, on your it neck. does have a neck lanyard. So when you need to use your hands and not stab someone, you put it on your. Neck. I like. I it like knives. Not stab anyone. Knives are great. Like. Utility when you're sure. camping stuff. Mm -hmm. I like there knives like that that are they're just made to kill people. That's a hundred percent. That's all that it's is. It's also a great letter open. <laughs> it's also a great fashion accessory. Yeah, it yeah. is. Well, I good think. On you. you are uh, you not want runway plane, that? but like. Yeah. <laughs> so so uh, we've been sending. We, like we've been posting our address on on uh, uh, Hawu. The Don't show the name of it though. Yeah, and so uh, what? Oh yeah. <laughs> And uh, and we've got lots of stuff to go through. So we actually we brought some more stuff here yeah. today. That's why I brought this over is because it's my favorite. We actually, is that what all that is? Yeah, I thought it was yeah. just clutter. A quick, a quick, Should we start with that? No, a quick. Oh, yeah, quick thing. This is a. I'm sorry to the person that sent this because you have become an example. Uh, an example. Yeah. Um, can, can I, I mean, I'm not really yeah, go sorry. Ahead. Uh, so what happened in this situation gonna hold was uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grab the second part of the example while you go. On. Okay, you do that. Um, okay, so we've we've established now we've got Awu. We're encouraging Awu. you yeah. to the Achieve 100 send Mail us show. things. We're happy to have them. We're happy to open them. We're happy to share them with you guys. Um, what we didn't request is for you to turn us into some kind of like passing house to get notes to other people in the building. Um, so. I apologize to the person who sent this, but uh, so this, they, they this sent it to attention cannot, to Awu. 
I, two I, Awu, you op- marked as perishable. Perishable. So perishable. Opened it immediately. You opened it. I opened and it. And you were greeted with... Wait cut, for cut. it. Please give this to Bernie! Now, to be fair, there was also a tiny note in there that just had thank you scrawled on it. Was that perishable? It yeah. wasn't really addressed uh, to anybody. So. And so... <laughs> um, there it is. There you go. That's now, Bernie. Now, Bernie's now relieve us of step, Bernie, step three. You should yeah. write Bernie on that in a sharpie. Yeah. That, way you, that, that trash can is Bernie. <laughs> we we delivered on our promise. So we we understand what you're doing. It's clever what you're doing, but no, that's not, not the way clever. To, it's not really the way to do not it because it's going to end up in the trash you, every yeah. time. You could use the same address and just put Bernie on it. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. Literally, you wanted to go to Bernie, write Bernie's name on it. Don't yeah. send it to us. We're not going to do it publicly anymore. But if that's that's been the first offender. That one, that's no what one's gonna fish that out. Yeah. Also, there was actually another was, offender I one really, time yeah. um, that sent a letter to, I think it was addressed to me, but it had like, it was a full thing, and I think it had two sentences at the top that were like, hey Jeremy, like, big fan, you do funny work, okay, thanks, and then it said, P.S., Please give this to the Ruby team, and the rest of it was for like miles. And it was and a was fucking like, critique. It was like it, it, it was, was like getting granular. It was like, listen, like, I've watched it. Uh, here's how two. Ruby could be better, uh, and the answer six. is every way. Like, Jesus. fuck it. I'm like, god damn, dude. Jesus uh, Christ. So because we're overwhelming really you. you. Oh, that actually seems like a that knife's really good for opening boxes. Yeah. It is actually great for opening boxes. Yeah, yeah because also, we're sort know, of overwhelmed, kind of opening things on. We, other we have a lot of packages, so we opened one in a let's watch, and we opened that in a let's watch. Yeah, the knife. And then Good we're gonna Lord. open like oh a, couple, a couple more here. Behold! Oh, a, a quilt. quilt! Dear Ryan, oh, thanks, actually... Nicholas. Well, here's the blanket I said I'd make. <laughs> to, to... Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, oh my God! God. I almost got us. eviscerated. <laughs> <laughs> the raptor. Like the raptor. <laughs> he went for the belly. Jesus. I was just gonna pick up a quilt. Jack just slid the knife across the table and it actually spun towards Gus like it wanted to cut him. It's even machine washable. Took a couple of weeks for uh, him to make. Wow, Thank that's you, a nice Sweet. Look at that. Quote. There you so go, Ryan. Around. Hey! That's literally for you. I'm gonna you. put this back in the box here. Okay, thank you. There's oh, a, nice, that's a note there for you, Ryan. Yeah, no, I'm gonna take a look. Hang on, let me get that. I came in a giant box. Well, you know. Well, I mean, you have to... It's delicate. Say, it's a crown. You gotta... Nice tag. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny small. party maybe, hats. <laughs> maybe the sizing is is slightly. Dude, yeah. you show just up. Crush to, it. Just, you show up to the party in that. I wish I had a little crown for my dick. You would. <laughs> like, wouldn't that, wouldn't that be like really that. funny? They make dick hats. They, like, do they have sure con- they do. do they have right? other condoms yes. that like the tip <laughs> just looks like a crown? I mean, the penetration <laughs> would be bad. They make right? really elaborate. It wouldn't be dimples, comfortable, right? right? You just put that on. Well, you can do that. Just like you know how it has the reservoir tip. You put like six of them. And then it looks like, mm-hmm. and then you color it oh, yellow. Okay. Mm-hmm. It'll look like a crown. Mm-hmm. Ringed with crowns for her yeah. pleasure. Thank you, Ryan. And no one's having pleasure from um, it. A yeah, fan no. of R- R- RVB since 2005. Nice. All right, Jack, open it. I got a note here from Colin. It says, Dear Shima Hunter, hi, my name is Colin. I started watching Constitution. This is interesting. The way it's like written is like in a, uh, it sort of like becomes a tornado. What do you fuck up? Uh, I've been watching your content two years ago. You've been inspired me to work in TV film. At some point, I would like to be a YouTube creator. I love all your videos. Mm-hmm. Uh, and. Only slightly like Funhouse content, well that's a mistake. And uh, anyway, he has a note for each of us. Michael, stay angry. Jack, keep being annoying. Okay. Bam! Oh, <laughs> suck a dick, Jack. Jeremy, continue being Monster Truck. Oh, Ryan, God, try not to kill short. everyone else. Well, that's... We're I'll try! Right Jack's the one who almost murdered yeah. him. Yeah, I was, I was Jeff, looking for something to stick this in, but then it was like, iPad? No, too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, please don't die. And finally, Gavin, never stop being an idiot. So hopefully, see you in the future, Colin Knightley. Thank you very much, Colin. Jack, that. keep being That did go annoying. into the table. Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering why I was standing up. Yeah, that went into the table. Right. Your last one. We got uh, a last one. Ryan, here. don't ruin Jesus. the table. Yeah, I know. <laughs> wow, someone paid 21 bucks to pick that. Yeah, oh, shit. That's a medium box, too. Someone lost $21. All right. All right. On top of whatever else yeah. is in there. <laughs> it's another screw. All right. <laughs> it's another it's script. Another yeah. <laughs> for for, for oh, Matt Hall. Right. We got peanuts. Oh, uh, we got peanuts. The edible kind? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Jeremy. <laughs> That's, more on camera. That's not the edible kind. I don't even think anybody saw that. All right, here, take a look at whatever that is. All right. Oh, oh shit, is I know what this it? is. What is it? Yeah, oh, this, more in here. this is, this yeah, is yeah, awesome. Yeah, there is more. So this guy made a, a cutout. He did a reverse, uh, allegedly audio listener friendly, and actually, like, he just sent it to us. So he printed these things out. This is done with a, an actual, like, woodcut thing that he put ink on. 
Wow, what are the odds of this? That's fucking yeah, awesome. awesome. That's yeah, perfect. Yeah. So, and then this is probably it right there. So he did right. a reverse carving. God. I said, Dear Michael, I've been a fan of Machine Hunter for years. Off topic topic podcast truly became my favorite content you guys create. I want to let you guys know how much you help uh, people with normal desk jobs get through the day. While I'm a production designer, two magazines, my hometown here in Ohio. I also do my own design work in the evenings, including woodcut prints. I sent you a few prints of a woodcut I did for off topic. Or a frame if you'd like to throw it up on the set. Also included are a few extras of the prints. If you do uh, shirts printed from the same woodcut, already washed them for us. That's very kind. Um, a couple non-age related stuff. Sure it's, the it's from uh, Ryan Hall. Thank you very much, Ryan, Ryan, Hall. Ryan Hall. Ryan Hall, he awesome. works here. No, I think it's a different one. <laughs> He's in Marriott, uh, Marietta, Ohio. That All is right, so fucking awesome. Here, yeah, here's the, here's the framed one. So, there you go. Boom. Look at that, that's awesome. That'll like, be on the set. Nice. That's amazing yeah, sure. stuff right there. We 100% will put that, that on the wall. I put this one here, but you probably... Uh, it's a hanger. And also he said, P.S. Yo, Michael, I live about 15 yeah, minutes from where they film down. Mountain Monsters, and I've actually met two of the cast members in real life. <laughs> Trevor! Awesome. <laughs> was that off-topic one, where he went on and that on? That was off-topic zero. Zero? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God. That was the first test one. Thank you very much, Ryan. That is super cool. That timed out perfectly. Like yeah, I've, I've, I've been watching him do that on Twitter and stuff, and to actually see it here is pretty cool. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's right. great. Good job, Ryan. Nice. Ryan and Ryan. Thanks. <laughs> awesome. Uh, by the way, I am. Whenever I look at my phone, I'm looking at hashtag off topic AH. Yeah. So you I should do that too. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. We should uh, all do I'm that. I'm not gonna do it because <clears throat> we should all do that. So I read slow. Jeremy, seen any good movies lately? Oh, I see something. That crown your willy. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <a> <laughs> it exists. Boy, your willy. It's got to be British then. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a crown yeah. and a dick. If it's British, it's probably too small it for It looks kind of dickish, but it's comfortable. It's a dildo. We can show that. Is it just a hat? What? It's a hat. It is. The a box. The box shows it on a head on the front, like tiny little hat, and then on the back, it's on a dick. <laughs> nice. They exist. Sweet. Send us uh, five of those. Do they have, like, uh, different sizes? Like a very specific... Oh, is that a oh, knitted like one? A that's oh wow! That's a, oh that's my a god! Warmer, yeah. It will be so warm. That one I want. <laughs> <laughs> so in winter you can keep your dick warm. Right. Yeah. It's all warmer. All right, it's what, chilly. What, what'd you ask, Jeremy? Have you feet. seen any good movies lately, Jeremy? I don't think so. I don't even been to the movies in a long time. I didn't see Logan. Oh, Logan's so I didn't good. See, there was another movie that came out recently that was Get like, Out. Get Out. So Get Out. Yep. Movie. Didn't yeah, see that amazing. one. Uh, Get Out was the I think the highest grossing film by a first time director. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah I think the budget on it was like four point five million, yeah, and it easily crossed a hundred million. That's awesome. That's uh that's Jordan Peele did that, yeah, right? Yeah. That's that super kick ass. Animated Beauty and the Beast. That's it. I didn't see that one. Either. Yeah. That was another big one. It's not bad. I didn't see Power Rangers. I saw it too. I didn't see Power Rangers. Either. Power Rangers surprisingly good. It, that's what it was like said. actually. I, yeah. I really dug it. It's, it's interesting because it's not really made for children. You know, the no, original definitely. Power Rangers definitely made for children, and mm -hmm. this is not made for children. Like I have a four year old. Do they have like they, the they, straight up magical girl transformation where they're all tits and ass, and then? Uh, not that, but they have no. uh, Elizabeth Banks walking around in like kind of a bayonetta style outfit, where it's like kind of like open on her and stuff. Uh -huh. I'll go see it. Okay, that's interesting. Um, but yeah, it's it's great. Like uh, Elizabeth Banks is actually she's awesome. She's just like she's, she's probably the best. Yeah, she's just playing yeah. it way over the so top. So she's Rita. She's Rita. Okay. She's Rita Repulsa, and she's playing it way over the top. But it actually works. She's like she's just crazy. She's like kill them all, and this goes nuts and it's pretty funny. And then uh, then what's his name? Uh, Walter White is the uh, is is Brian Zordon. Zordon. Yeah, yeah. Brian so Brian Walter Cranston White. Zordon. So and, uh, does like, he ever come out of the tube, or is he just a head in a bottle? Uh, well, I don't know. Know. It's kinda, it's, there's some plot points over yeah, there. Plot points. I've already spoiled it, so I'm yeah. guessing yes. Yeah. But uh, Alpha is played by uh, Bill Hader, which is great. Uh -huh. I love Bill Hader, and so he looks and, weird. In he the trailer, did look Alpha weird. looks fucking weird. Yeah, a little weird. He's got like crazy, like long arms and stuff. I mean, it's definitely like a different sort of. It looks like yeah. more alien than the you know than like just a little dude in a suit. A so. dude, yeah, it's supposed to be just a tiny dude with like a saucer on his head. They were always kind of aliens or some shit, right? Like. Zordon was like an interdimensional being or something, something like, like that. Something like that. Yeah. I don't know. That's why he was in the tube. Yeah, that's why he had to stay in there to stay alive. Right. Was that other power. And then the movie was weird. fucking broken. Yeah, he broke the tube. Oh, and then man. it's like there's an old grandpa in there just dying. I had to pause the movie and step away. What, were, what, broke that what were the name of uh, the two punks that always picked on? Was it Skull and Bulk or something? Yeah, that's it. Uh, Bebop and they, they went... <laughs> That's him. So they had a punk, but they never named him. It was just one. They didn't have the two guys. Yeah. So I don't know if that was one or the other or whatnot. I also heard the punk. There's a combination of both. These are kind of interesting. They're big CGI it, creatures. Yeah, it's Fuck. like it's like a clay monster just kind of came. But out you remember the putties and Power Rangers? Yeah, they were and always they, like very. <laughs> they were just dudes yeah. with like dumb mask things on, dressed in white. And I, and I think in one iteration they had big buttons on them. Yeah, that was like you, know, you had to punch the button and they exploded. And yeah. they were just well, the whole time they would they just go like, around going like, why would they have their big weakness out? In the I don't know. Yeah. I, and they like added it. Don't, I don't think they used like, to have. Well, okay, we'll make sure not to hit this. We'll put circles around it so they know not to hit this right here. What about when they're asleep? Can they never like roll over on their stomach? 
Wow, that's that's easy. Just, they don't sleep. Like, huh. That happens like one of them just falls down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's the noise that's made. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, it's really actually a surprisingly good movie. I, I really dug it. And uh, and Roy from The Office was uh, he the, was, uh, was uh, Jason's father. Yeah. The Red Power Rangers' father. So that Roy. it was Roy from the office. He that was the Pam's ex- first. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, fiance. right, right, right. Then never got married. Was he all drunk and like belligerent and shit? Yeah, you know, the whole time. No, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty good. Nah, he could fit right in here. But <laughs> I, the, the one thing I do I, I appreciate is like there were. I mean, other than like Brian Cranston, who's kind of a, an ancillary character. Uh, there were no major actors in it. It was all kind of just like unknowns, and it was like more about Elizabeth the story. Banks. Elizabeth Banks, yes, but I mean, you know, she's not a headlining <laughs> movie spent, person. You spent I mean, a she's, lot of time talking about all the people that you know. recognize. That's, that's then, kind of yeah. fair. Like, what can you name that she headlined? Yeah. Um, my dreams. Shit. There you go. See, uh, I think the Jack and Mary make a porno, maybe. Yeah, but that's a yeah, long yeah. time ago. All right, looking it up. She's been in she's a lot. She's been of in like yeah. a ton She's of been in tons of stuff. But yeah. she also does a lot of TV too. So she's in that Realtor.com commercial. What is it? I don't know. Sure. She's like some. Commercial on TV. She did. Uh, she, did she, she was in Pitch Perfect, and uh, mm-hmm. she directed Pitch Perfect too, actually. I love so how good our that was is a good movie. Yeah, yeah you know what she's crap, never done though. She's never sold you Blue Apron like we're about to. All right, <laughs> <laughs> like we're about to. Ooh, Twenty minutes in, doing it. Early. Wow, you know, <laughs> that's, uh, you know, I figured we'll just get it out of the way. Then we can. Just, we, the four well, no, over, we have the we pleasure can, of doing it, Ryan. It's gonna be a forty-five yeah. minute podcast. Uh, pleasure, well, so we could be so lucky. Uh, not all ingredients are created equal. Fresh, high-quality ingredients make a real difference. So it's important to know where your food comes from. For less than ten dollars per person per meal, Blue Apron delivers seasonal recipes along with pre-proportioned ingredients to make delicious home-cooked meals. Choose from a variety of new recipes each week, or let Blue Apron's culinary team surprise you. Ta-da. There you go. <laughs> recipes are not repeated within a year, so you'll never get bored. Blue Apron's freshness guarantee promises that every ingredient in your delivery arrives ready to cook, or they'll make it right. Customize your recipes each week based on your preferences. Blue Apron has several delivery options, so you can choose what fits your needs. There's no weekly commitment, so you can get deliveries when you want them. Check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash off topic. You will love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home cooked meals with Blue Apron. So don't wait. Blueapron.com slash off topic. That's Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Thank you, Hank. <laughs> that's a, that's, Thank that's, you, that's, that was clutch. So, yeah, yeah. That was good. That's what you gotta do. So, what, you find anything, <coughs> find anything Elizabeth Banks in? Uh, Wild Style in Lego Movie. Oh, yeah. But oh, yeah. I guess that's animated. So, and also, yeah. Chris Pratt, I'd say, would be the hero of that movie. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, oh, Wild Style was like. Also, yeah. So, all right. Yeah, okay, right there, so. Female lead is important, too, all right? But the movie's about Emmett. Nah. Female Ghostbuster hater I mean, over there. I, I like Ghostbusters. <laughs> <that. laughs> I like Ghostbusters. No, that was Lord of the Rings is about Frodo, but there's some other major characters. It's funny you bring up Ghostbusters because we had Greg on a couple weeks ago. Boy, people don't like Greg. I guess not. I don't know why they don't like Greg. such a good dude. Anyway, but it was funny because before Ghostbusters came out, one of those trailers and stuff, I was not looking forward to Ghostbusters. I was like, this looks bad. I don't like what they're doing with it. Then when it came out, I actually really enjoyed it, and Greg did not like it. So, like, we flipped. Mm. It's pretty interesting. I was really really excited for it, you know, with the trailers. I I I really wanted to like it, and I did not. I watched it on a plane. What the fuck was that? There's a green light just flashed on top of that TV over there. We supposed to. Oh, uh, that thing? Yeah. Does that that mean good job, team? Is that a TV thumbs system. up? Yeah. Can you turn Way the green go. light on? Do you have that control? Oh, we can't. They can. Uh, yeah! Oh, yeah! It's kind of like a. It's a nice oh. like soft. Who hit blue it on green purple. or on accident? It's like I a guess. Oh. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Like I had a lot of fun with it. Still, uh, I, I talked about Stop. it last week, but um, there's one thing that I wish they would do Stop, that would solve any issue I have with that movie. Well, the uh, majority of issues I have with that movie. If at one point, like after the credits roll, it's uh, it's Kate McKinnon working, and she hits something, and a portal opens up, and it's just Ray on the other side looking into the portal, and he's just like, as a Ghostbuster, and then it just seals shut. No, I would hate that. That would that be amazing. That sounds fucking awful. Why does that sound awful? Because the original actors were the worst part of that movie, or one of the worst parts of the movie. Uh, I would say Bill I, Murray kind of slept his way through. Other than that, I, I like Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck are you doing, He's right? just Bill being Murray. insane. Yeah. I made a uh, smiley face. Jack, I Bill love, Murray slept his way through the I production. love the fact that you came on Off Topic shitting on how bad the Ghostbusters movie was going to be. Yeah, yeah. And everyone fucking hated you. They're like, Jack, it's going to be good. Shut up. You just hate it because they're women. But And then you came on here the other week and you're like, I actually liked it. You're like, Jack, shut up. It was terrible. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, no like, winning on that one. <laughs> But anyway, no, I, I see my problem was they got rid of the original canon. Like they just got rid of it, like and just wiped out Ghostbusters for no real reason. Like they could have made an excuse to keep the originals around, but they just got rid of them to make a whole new thing. And it's like, well, show me there's another dimension where the original well, guys still are around and I'll be 100% I'm, I'm happy. okay with stuff like that. Like I liked uh 
I, I have not seen the Ghost in the Shell movie, and I'm not going to fucking watch it. No. <laughs> but, um, but the different iterations of like Ghost in the Shell movies and series, like they're all different universes. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. the characters are. I, mean, I guess the characters still exist. They have the same name, but the history is different, mm-hmm. or their interactions and the way that they behave. So I'm okay with like that kind of alternate universe, alternate yeah, yeah. reality take on That's like, that's like all stuff. DC does, like DC mm-hmm. Comics specifically. It's like, yeah, you I, have... Did, make bad movies? Speaking of I, DC, go for it. did you hear the Justice League is rumored it's going to be three hours long? Yep. Yeah. We talked oh about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, two hours and 15 minutes, I think is what it was. Yeah. 170 minute run time. Yep. That's, I won't see it. Because <laughs> you know when I was watching Batman vs Superman, I was like, you know what would be better if this movie was another two hours long? <laughs> I'm not going to see it, but I will learn the ending and spoil it for Jeff. Oh, yeah. That's a good it's my idea. favorite thing to do. Nice. Well, no, Jeff's got nothing but time now. He can go watch. That's, That's true. true. He'd go Fuck, see it. Dude. No, he's been reading books. Is what he dude, said. I just read a book. I finished a book last night. Well, good for you. Mustache. How is Dr. Seuss? It was uh, yeah, Green Eggs and Ham? No, it was, it's called <laughs> Mustache Shenanigans. It's J. Chandra Sekhar's book. It's his that, autobiography. That does oh, sound like it's actually like Dr. something we release on the yeah. channel. <laughs> it's actually really good. It's a good book. It's all about like how they got Super Troopers made and like Puddle mm-hmm. Cruiser, this movie before that, and kind of what they're doing now and sort of being in the industry. It's a cool book. When's Super Troopers 2, dude? I think they just started filming it like no, they two just, months ago. They just wrapped it actually. Oh, they just wrapped it? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Well, in the, the, at the end of the book, he talks about they just wrapped the movie in Chicago. And I think the book came out like a few weeks ago. Okay. So I imagine then that was probably printed, you know, probably four months ago or so, or probably done writing four months ago. So I don't know about that. I, I feel like they just started principal shooting on that not that long ago. So they made it. I'm sure they wrapped it. It's wrapped. But now, yeah, 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 yeah. What if he was just predicting the future? It's like, we That's just true. finished it. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> It's good time. They would not have gone better. I think, I think they did their crowdfunding like two years ago now at this point, it's right? It's been a while. Yeah. Because yeah. it was right after Laser Team, I think. Like, yeah. we were filming Laser Team, I think, when they were doing their crowdfunding. Yeah, Bernie and I went out there to do uh, Best Day Ever with them. And we, oh, yeah. we met those guys. Uh, right, and that was right when they were doing their Super Troopers 2 crowdfunding thing. I think, I think that was two years ago this month. Nice. Hmm. But yeah, those guys, uh, they smoked a lot of pot. <laughs> and, uh, you think? And drank a lot of alcohol, did a lot and of drugs. And then they can predict the future. Dude, our building was super pot the other day. Yeah, yeah. it was. I walked into your office, I was like, where is that coming from? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gus walks in, it was like during a video, Gus walks in, it was like, smelled a lot of weed in the hallway, just wanted to see if it was you guys. <laughs> like, no, because it, it smelled, <laughs> like, it smelled like really shitty weed. It was yeah. like super scummy. It was not that good, is, yeah. That's like at least twice a week. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah, but yeah. That, that was the strongest though. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That, that, that was, was really that was bad. Tough. My office is yeah. like right next to you yeah. guys, so yeah. like I smell that shit all the time, yeah. but that was like... You're, you're like right there so on the corner. It was so in my nose. We should explain. We, we yeah. work in a building that has a lot of sound studios. We work studios. in a dispensary. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, it's, it's a lot of like it's recording, stu- recording <laughs> studios. So bands will come in, and every now and then a band will kind of need to get in the mood, and so they'll smoke up their little room, and it just permeates throughout the building. Is marijuana but, basically like a musical fluffer? Yes. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, if you, know. you know, who's your favorite music artist? Meth. <laughs> <laughs> But there was a kill that joke. <laughs> Earlier this week, there was like a jazz band practicing in there. I don't know if y'all could hear it in your uh, mm-hmm. office, but they were uh, like they were playing like all of Kind of Blue, like uh, Miles Davis oh, nice. jazz album. I was like, man, these guys are fucking killing it. I, so it was probably it was probably them. <laughs> I walked by one time and I could hear uh, 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 in the club playing and I was like, "What?" And then the guy's like, "Oh no, this is it's a it's like a cover band. It's like a yeah. cover rap band." I was like, "Oh, son of a bit." Okay. <laughs> so, but uh, butthole servers were there not too long ago. That was kind of mm. cool. I was like, "Oh, that's a Texas you just band." Say, I heard butthole. Butthole servers. I heard yeah. butthole servers. Yeah, that's, well, that's, that's, a band. that's a band. Oh, oh. Surfers. Uh, Surfers. Butthole oh. surfers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, see, that's much uh, better than butthole service. Exactly. Have y'all never heard yeah. of butthole surfers? No. Really? <laughs> I'm sure the, yeah, you, they, you know that They go song. out to the waves, just surf on their butt. What is yeah, it? No, no, they ride the brown tide. No. Some will die in hot pursuit and fiery auto <laughs> yeah. crashes. Some will die on hot pursuit while sifting through my ashes. I don't some mind the sun sun yeah. sun I don't mind the sun sun The band's about buttholes and they have a song called shows. Hot Pursuit. That'll be fun. Uh, uh, I can taste you on my lips and smell you in my clothes. Man, yep, yep. There you go, it's butthole service. Yeah. They're a Texas That band. doesn't help. They started that, yeah, in- I was going to say that really. Oh, like, got it. The thing with the butthole. You, you know. <laughs> I can taste you in my lips. Feel you on my clothes. They always like the brown eyes. Uh, the other day I was brown. talking about. Uh, Don Rickles dying. Oh, yeah. And uh, I forget who it was. Someone was like, who is that? I was like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you fucking young. You, you, said, you said that. I, I, no, yeah. I know who Don Rickles is. Who said, who's Don Rickles? Someone said that. You did. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened in the office. Ryan pulled this one when Don Rickles died. Matt goes, uh, who's Don Rickles? And Ryan pulled up the article and I had a picture of oh, yeah. Ryan goes, it looks like a guy who would be dead. <laughs> Jesus. That's a Don Rickles joke. I mean, yeah. That's, uh, he would appreciate it. Yeah. He would. Yeah. It was funny, dude. 
He, uh, was, he played the. He played one of the characters in Toy Story. Like he was like the pig or something in Toy Story, wasn't he? Uh, was he? No, he was no. a pig. He was not I would know. Cliff Clavin. Was he? Yeah, I was going to say that was. Uh, he was Potato Head. Yeah, Potato, yeah, Potato Head. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, Cliff Clavin. Cliff Clavin. Yeah. There we go. Clive. From whatever. Right, see, I watched Cheers. John Ratzenberger. At least got that. Like, John Ratzenberger's been. I don't know if it's still true, but he was in every single Pixar movie. I think. I think it finally broke. No, did. Yeah. Okay. But he. Yeah, he was in like. Forever. Yeah, he was like he was their lucky charm, is what they called him. So he was like in every single Pixar movie up to at least Incredibles. I don't know what he, he was. Yeah. That guy's voice is held up. It's sad yeah, to hear man, Patrick Stewart like... these days. It's like I was getting a little right. Yeah. I really like whatever. I don't. I saw him terrible. I don't pay attention yeah. during commercials on television, but I know he's a strongbow. I really like his strongbow TV commercials. Strongbow? What is strongbow? Cider. It's a cider. Oh yeah, you wouldn't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> He's really funny. He's still really funny. He's yeah. a cider. Oh no, he's a hilarious dude. It's, it's sad to hear that once yeah. powerful voice is getting a little. Also, I love that picture yeah. of him in the on all the the, like, the party balls or whatever, like in the ball pit he's in. Mm-hmm. That someone photoshopped Jeff's face on. No, it. no, that was Jeff. That, then they photoshopped Patrick Stewart. Oh, is that what yeah, it was? Yeah, that's oh, that's okay, that's yeah. It. Patrick Stewart was scouring the internet. I was like, oh, this guy looks funny. I'm gonna put my face on. This it. guy looks funny. Yeah. So, anyway. uh, speaking of cider, apparently today is National Beer Day. Hey. Oh, hey. I'm gonna celebrate. <laughs> I thought he was gonna walk off. I wish you had more, right you had more beer. Yeah. Well, well, this one, had, this one, one has all the carbonation. That's the problem. It's all head every time. Not that there's anything wrong. Well, with that. No, there's nothing wrong with half of the other. All head, everything. Mine was full <laughs> shaft. I had no <laughs> head on this. No uh, uh, fucking God, dude. I had yeah. several like when my family was here and we we went to a bunch of. Look at this. That was that's a rough one. That's a Gavin. We went to a bunch of different places. We got a bunch of flights. Like I love doing that, going to a place and getting like of beer. Yeah, of beer. Yeah, 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 I just just, flew around. Just love that, like getting like eight different beers and be like, "Mm, this one, this I don't like this one, but I'll drink it. I love shit like that. I hate I hate doing that. Really? Yes, I feel like you never really fully commit. You never really get the full experience. You're like, oh, that was good. Oh, this one sucks. Oh, this one sucks. Oh, that one's good. But then you say that one's good. Give me a pint of that one, and then that's it. Love that. Or a pitcher. The name of that song is Pepper, <laughs> Pepper, by the way. That's the name of that song? Yeah, Friendly Leanne said that. Thank you very much, Friendly. What song? The Pepper. Puddle Surfers one. The one we were singing. Oh. I never knew that was the name of it. it. I didn't know it had a name. <laughs> yeah, they just they they made really a song existed. with no name. But, yeah. Well, it's on the CD that you probably can't buy, so... <laughs> Sorry, what? Butthole Surfers. CD you can't buy? <laughs> I'm just saying that no one's heard of the Butthole Surfers in like <laughs> 10 years. They have heard of the Butthole Surfers! <laughs> I didn't surfers. know who they were! <laughs> like, I'm familiar with the band. It's just like, it's not like they're... Burning up the airwaves. Matt and I are starting the yeah. butthole service. <laughs> Neither are the Beatles, but everyone knows who that is. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fair. <laughs> kind of. I'm it's not comparing movie. the butthole service yeah. to the Beatles by the way. <laughs> Just Reaper. That's, yeah. Matt's got a Punisher shirt on. It's pretty cool. Someone yes, asked me, should it. they ask if it was Dark Siders too? No, it's it's, it's Overwatch. Just Overwatch. Yeah, yeah, it's Punisher. Reaper. It's They're making a Punisher, Punisher TV show. Did you see the Defenders trailer? Is well, anybody, is anybody watching watching a teaser? Teaser? Yeah, well, there's like a teaser of them all in an elevator together. And that's literally what a it. teaser. And then yeah. Jessica Jones punches Punch the shit out of the camera. Yeah. End of teaser. I kind of, I, I sort of, I made it to, the whole show. I made it to Luke Cage. The and then Daredevil season two, I started watching. I kind of just tapered off. Like, I've only watched I got like, through it eventually. Yeah. I, like, I apparently kept, Iron I kept Fist going is back. terrible. Iron Fist yeah. is terrible. That's sad. Uh, mm. Yeah, no, they, I don't know if it's, well, they did two really bad things. They cast a guy, I'm pretty sure, it's the guy that's Sir Loris from Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, He's not a great martial artist, I don't think. <laughs> Which is really a, a terrible situation. He is an incredible knight. <laughs> Shut your mouth. I'm glad that he's a great knight. Uh, as a martial artist, though, I'm assuming the reason the editing is so terrible around all the fight scenes is because it's like, all right, now somebody hold his leg up. All right. <laughs> okay, we got it. As the leg falls down. Uh, cause it's, uh, it's that, it's like Taken level fight. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's what I've heard. Like, like crazy cut, editing. Cut, 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 cut. Yeah, no, it's like, uh, they did one knife fight, I think they called it out, it's got like 90 cuts in it or something. Jesus it's, Christ. It's not a Well, you're gonna have fight. a lot of cuts in a knife fight. It's true. Uh, Sadly, no one actually bleeds. Gus is on fire today. Sadly, yeah. no one actually bleeds. Uh, <laughs> great rhyme. Sadly. While holding a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, his motivation, the writing's not great, the motivation's not great, the acting is, mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so, he's been the weakest by far. There's, so, there's, there's yeah. too many Marvel, like, TV and Netflix shows, I can't keep up. Yeah, yeah. I, ju- I just can't. But well, I just thought it was too much. 
only. But they're like hour long. Episodes. They are hour long, and they all suffer from the same problem. That it does it feel like Netflix was making these, and they were like, "Hey, hey we don't have to make room for commercials. Let's just leave in everything. Fuck it." Yeah. And the editor was like, "All right, I guess we'll go home." They're, they're long. <laughs> it's sad because the first Daredevil season was amazing. It was. It was. Really it's so well the same done. problem though. They didn't cut enough. From there was. Yeah. yeah. yeah it was definitely they let yeah, them drag. For no reason. But like the, all the stuff with uh, Kingpin and like him staring at the wall. And you, like, that was yeah. really cool. Yeah, so. Dude, that scene with him just like slamming the door on the dude. Oh, that, that was, was awesome. Like, yeah. That was like, the scene. best scene in the whole show. Yeah. I feel like they, they're they still trying to fight for watch time or something. I don't know why they're making it unnecessarily long. Because hmm. it doesn't matter, right? It's, it's Netflix. Netflix. They right. made it. It's their platform. Who gives a shit? Well, there's no ads running on it. True. Ah. Yeah. Oh well, I'm curious. I'm curious about defenders. Like I, I've, I've missed. I mean, I, I saw Still about four episodes about of um, Jessica things. Jones, mm -hmm. about four episodes of Luke Cage. Didn't see Iron Fist. Didn't see Daredevil. I saw about half of Daredevil season two, and it's like, do I need to watch that stuff before I watch Defenders? If I'm going to watch Defenders, I don't know. But I'd say by far, like Daredevil one and Jessica Jones were the best. Yeah, I think I watched the first episode of Jessica Jones. I would stick with yeah, that. Yeah, okay. that. that one's good to, to power through. Hmm. So I got, I, got, I got too much video games to play. Speaking yeah, of which, true. yeah, how's that Mass Effect going? I finished it. Yeah, yeah did you like you? it? Did you eventually like it? Um, I think that game gets shit on more than it deserves. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's because it's held to such a high bar because the Mass Effect series is so great. Uh, I think it's it's a fine game, but it has a lot of problems that need to be addressed. That okay. it just takes you out of it sometimes. How did you feel about the voice actors in the game? Were there any that like bugged you? Um. The, the one that bothered me the most was Kesh, the female Krogan who's on yeah. uh, the oh, next yeah. That one bothered she didn't me a lot. Like a, it was like, that doesn't sound should. like a Krogan, yeah. right? Like, it, it, the, the voice, I felt like the voice performance was fine, but there needed to be some kind of post-production, some like kind of filter. Right. Some, yeah. Yeah. Something added to it. Like, I just but didn't she had like a really sexy voice or something? Uh, no, like, no, she just like, had like a normal woman, know. like human yeah. woman's voice. Yeah, like the Krogan. coming out of a Krogan, you're, like at I first think, I was like. Well, because you can't tell by looking. Yeah, the thing they really wanted to emphasize is like, this is a female Krogan. You can hear it, right? It's yeah. a female. But yeah. it's like in in Mass Effect, like you can't really tell just by looking at like a Krogan which one's a female, which one's a male. Mm -hmm. Usually it's just like they just sit like, I'm a female. It's like, all right, deal. I'll, I'll believe <laughs> yeah. it. But like, so the Krogan walked up and I was like, this is the first Krogan we've met in the game. Like, yeah. I'm so excited. I love Rex. I love like, uh, I just love all of that. And then like, he walks up and he's like, Hi there, Ryder! Like, what do you want to do? And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, god oh, damn it. Oh, Krogan's left! Yeah, just me now! My name's Happy Krogan! What do you want to do? And then when she said that, like, all the Krogans were gone and it was just her, I was like, oh my god, no! <laughs> and then you meet, uh, Drac. Or whoever. Yeah. I love Drac. Drac's He's great. Awesome. He Drac's fucking yeah. awesome. I had, a, I had a conversation with him on the ship, though. Like, this this took me out of the game. Where I walk in there and be like, hey, Drac, and he's like, Yes, hello, Ryder! Oh, yeah, there are some issues <laughs> like, like that. Yeah. Staring directly at the ceiling the mm -hmm. whole time. Yeah, there were, there's a lot of glitches that need to be yeah. addressed, but yeah. I, I, I still think it was a fine game. Now, are there any uh, like throwbacks to any of the other Mass Effect games? Like, are there any Easter eggs or like, oh, if you pay attention, well, you know this is happening? I think or... if you are familiar with the universe, you understand the relations between the different species a lot better. So, like for example, when I'm going to the Krogan area, like you know, there's like a guard who gives you. A hard time getting into the area, but you know if you threaten him with like physical violence, like that's what they respect. Oh, okay. But it's like so, like it's just, you're able to navigate dialogue trees a little easier. Okay. Um, and and things like that. But there's no like, what was the name of the character from the first Shepard? Story? Shepard. There's like no reference. Uh, to I think Shepard. there might have been one reference to Shepard at one Shepard. point, or yeah. maybe two. Well, they had to choose at the beginning of yeah, the game if Shepard were, was a male or a female. I think it's basically just to be like, yes, Shepard, he was great, or Sh yes, yeah. Shepard, she Thumbs was great. Up yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But no, there's really not too much, oh, yeah. too much well, reference that, to it. That makes sense. You're in like a completely other area. Like what Shepard did already happened and didn't matter mm -hmm. where you are. Right. So. Yeah. I, I don't like the multiplayer is kind of disappointing to me. I don't know if they, it's been addressed in the patch, but it just did not run, run well. Yeah. It's I, I think I'm, I'm I've been enjoying the multiplayer. It's on par with Mass Effect Three. I think. Is it not super it's, choppy for you? Like well, really? Awesome like Maybe, no. I feel like I'm I, playing a slideshow sometimes. It's in not. That game. I mean, it doesn't control yeah, every now and then. It slows down like that. Yeah. But. I, yeah, I agree with you. It's it's kind of on par with three. Mm -hmm. Like that's how I got the uh, insane mode achievement was I just did all the multiplayer in three because I'm not good enough or don't have the time to play through the whole campaign. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, that it was about the same. You have the time. Well, back then I might have. <laughs> <laughs> the frustrating thing is how many different currencies exist in that mm -hmm. game. In multiplayer alone, there's three currencies. In single player, I mean, if you count research points as currencies, I think there's one, two, three. 
There's like there's four just for research, right? Yeah, there's some, there's probably six currencies maybe. Jesus. And then having to keep track of it all and what's with what. And, uh. Look, they saw how successful currencies were in Destiny. They're like, let's see if we can double down on that. Yeah. God. It's, yeah. uh, it's only this one to buy dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's all I hope for Destiny 2 is that half the currencies burn down with the building. Well, you gotta, I mean, you got to figure out a lot, of, a lot of the currencies kind of like were based around <coughs> older stuff and they kind of changed it. It was like, here's the currency for this DLC. And it's like, okay, by the next one, those don't matter anymore. It's like, you might still have them, but like, that's not a thing anymore. Well, my favorite part about that was like, here's this old currency. I can just eat it now and it becomes something else. Like, you literally could just hold X, but come. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> well, there's a lot of things that didn't do that. Remember like Ascendant Shards you used to upgrade Raid right here in the beginning? You could still do something with those, yeah. Like what? You broke those down for like Vanguard rep, I think. You can, tr there were uh, yeah. also uh, various dealers that would trade you like X amount of this for something of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Better. So, <laughs> I, no, I'm excited for this. Look, we talked about, this, we talked about this, this last time. Are you are you becoming more of a PC guy or are you more of an Xbox guy still? Um, or PlayStation? I'm pretty split. Really? I spend a lot of time on my PC. Okay, Destiny 2 is coming out on PC, Xbox One, and PS4. What do you think you're gonna play it on? I'll pro. I, I played the. I played Destiny on my Xbox One. I'll okay. probably switch over to PC. That's what I'm thinking too. I, I want. I want to push as much you towards make a, no. PC as possible. Are you hoping everyone in it, Achievement Hunter switches? to I would PC? like to. I, I mean, mean, like as a, as bad as we are right now at competitive multiplayer, you realize you will not play PC oh, competitive. Yeah, that's, oh no, that's yeah. fine. Like, I mean, I like especially not fine. Already looks bad. And stuff. Go. I mean, like, bots. especially yeah. for Destiny. Like, I mean, it's more about PVE than anything else in that game. Like, we like the big stuff for us. Yeah, I don't know really? about that. Competitive is a pretty sizable part of that game. We've well, played a lot, us, though. Like for the six of us. I like, mean, even for six of us, we just we, did a stream in it like yeah, two weeks ago. But we still got our ass kicked a lot of times. So it's like yeah, I mean, but every time, it's a little yeah. competitive. Yeah, <laughs> we stood a chance. Yeah, we, didn't we won't. Have, like, the odds but, already but the idea of like being able to do like 4K gaming and like not having to worry about load time. We can't stream or or record 4K. And even at that, we don't have the technology. The proof for it. Scorpio's coming out. We'll okay. have 4K on the Xbox. Don't worry how, how much do you think the Scorpio is going to cost? Oh, I don't know. Who cares? I think, cares? That, yeah, exactly. I think that uh, Eurogamer <laughs> thing the other day said that they were estimating yeah. it was going to be four ninety nine. They said they had no idea based on, no one told them anything, but mm -hmm. based purely on hard respects, they would expect it to cost four ninety nine. Okay. And that does That's that does fun. 4K and it's 1080p well, 60. Well, it does 4K in the same way that the PS... PS4 Pro does 4K, yeah. which Shut is up, like I'm trying to sell them on this. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's like Don't I mean, tell. like I know, like a lot of like like Jeremy's still huge into achievement stuff. Michael's huge into achievements. Jeff kind of is. And it's like I I'm, I'm honestly past that. Like I'm like okay, well no. achievements. No, calls himself an achievement. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I what was the last time we made an achievement guide? That's the thing. Dude, so, I, I made one. Them. I made that one was a few months yeah. ago. Yeah, still no one watched them. But yeah. uh, but uh, the idea of playing it on a PC and just like I mean, now that I've played games on PC with like super high resolution graphics because we have machines that can handle really really high intense graphics and it's like you play for honor on a pc and then jump to an xbox it's like oh oh yeah we should be playing See, this and that's on the PC. thing that just never it did it for me like yeah. I, I would i would do that because i have a nice pc and i've played dude PC. i should you, I saw you, how pretty you, it is i should show you my i show my load times on wildlands on xbox versus on my pc that is even, also it's it's a even it's like playing like overwatch if, i think is the best example like Overwatch has become such a different game on the PC versus console. Mm -hmm. uh, like you have to adopt totally different strategies. And I would argue, like I'm not a good multiplayer person, but I can stay competitive in Overwatch on PC. You think PC? You're better at being competitive. I'm, I'm than more on competitive Xbox. on PC than I am on Xbox. Why do you think that is? It's just uh, I think I'm better with the characters I play on PC uh -huh. versus the strategies you adopt uh, on the console. Like on console, Torbjorn still very powerful, but on PC, the fuck Torbjorn. Like and yeah. nobody has to deal with that. It's just different strategies, different uh -huh. different approaches. I, that's to true. It. It's like I main fair in that, and like you can't do that on PC. Uh, yeah, not uh, for competitive. Yeah, no, there's, there's yeah. Been, well, okay. you can do all right with. Fair, you can do all yeah, right, yeah. but it's like you're if you're like you'll get those messages where it's like switch, mm -hmm. switch right now. What are you doing? You're ruining. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh man, a couple, a couple months ago, uh, I've never seen this work. I was playing Overwatch on the PC, mm -hmm. and in chat, someone asked. It was a global chat. They asked, "How do I chat only to my team?" <laughs> And I replied, Alt plus F4. <laughs> and then it just wrote, thanks. And then it was like, player left game. I was like, holy shit! I've never seen it actually work! It worked! That's awesome. Look. I've, been, I've been doing that for 20 fucking years. Or not, 
Almost 20 years. <laughs> there is no person that will get though. The one that's just like, I don't even know how to chat. How do I do this? <laughs> how do I do things? And you just stripped and they learned a little bit of it. That, that yeah. person's innocence away. My, you just took the a world is a fucked up place. Do not trust strangers. <laughs> Especially on the internet. I like yeah. the idea that he's going to go into another game like, who told me this worked? I don't know. And then she kills me. Like, why is this not working? This help. He just goes in to yeah. help me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Who would go on the internet and lie? Doesn't make any sense at all, but um, God. yeah, I, I'm all about going more PC stuff. Like, I mean, playing games on PC versus playing on consoles, it's it's it's, it's to the point now where if you're up if you're updating your PC constantly, if you're on your PC, you're going to be updating it no matter what. And the games are just it's there's they're better. I mean, I, better. I agree that it's prettier. Uh, we don't have and the the caveat being one 4K gaming is not something that's. Great, right? No, now. but I mean, but I mean, uh, 1080p 60, you can do across the board almost yes, every PC game, where a console you just can't. So, uh, and well, even with the the pro hardware, you're probably not going to be able to do, anytime soon. There's a lot of 900p upreses going around. Do you think Destiny 2 is going to support 60 frame on the PC, or are they going to oh, lock it at 30? Because it's 30. It's a hard 30 they on console. They do a hard 30 yeah. before. On the console, they did a hard 30 before. On this, yeah. I, I would hope they'd be like, let's just go. All I feel out. like they're the kind of company that'll lock it at 30. I, I have a. I, I, obviously, I don't about, know like, anything, but I would bet that yeah. they lay lock it at 30. Consistent experience. And that's now, what Deej told you, right? <laughs> <laughs> no one told me anything. No insider. Information. Uh, I mean, yeah, they'll probably go for 30. Like, uh, especially if they have any designs whatsoever of having any cross platform functionality, which yeah. I no severely no. doubt. That's, that's the thing. It's like, I would totally be down to play Destiny on PC if I could still play it on the Xbox, too. Okay. Like, I could buy like two copies. That would of be it nice. Then, well, that's yeah. even if it's not cla 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 that. even if it's not cross platform, if it's at least you can Your transfer. Your yeah, my character, just like yeah. go back and forth. Do you think well, yeah. they'll have that uh, universal Windows platform stuff with it? That's a good question because I, I, would, I would be totally down for that too. Like, because I know that mm -hmm. well, you're, you're, that. Start, you're starting to see more of that that Xbox Play Anywhere type thing, mm -hmm. and it's like I love that idea where it's like I buy one copy, I've got it on both consoles, or I got it on PC and consoles. Like, that's great. I'd love it more if it was not through the Xbox Store. Mm -hmm. I mean, the yeah. Xbox Store on the PC is not a great. Not thing. It's, it's, they're it's not, not gonna. They're not gonna be like, here's a Steam copy. Yeah. yeah exactly. Well, it's not yeah. an intuitive system. Like, I had Gears Four, and I had I played it on my Xbox, and one day I was like, oh, I'm gonna see if I can install it on my PC. I had to Google how to like wh where the fuck do I redeem it? Where the fuck do I download <laughs> uh -huh. it? How do I get it on? It's it's a nightmare. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. I mean, you have to find your library, which is for some reason the hardest thing to find in the store. Yeah. Like I kept going trying to go to like the Xbox mm -hmm. thing. It was like, nope, it's not in there. Uh, oh, right. That's just it's it's just fractured. Right. They need to unify yeah. all that shit. But anyway, I'm all about PC. Oh, there you go, Gus. There's your. Uh, your oh, message. there it is. <laughs> Gus Alt F4. Oh my God, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's I awesome. was so happy. <laughs> I didn't realize you documented yeah, it. That's amazing. Say. Yeah, I, uh, I also very quickly uh, did uh, Shadow Play, so I, I have uh -huh. video footage of it as well. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, man. Was your team pissed you, off like, that you just cost no, them a player? Nobody, nobody replied. Nobody commented. I had like this great celebration all by myself. Oh, man. are you still playing WoW? Uh, no, I haven't played WoW no. in a long time. So Gus and I used to play WoW all the time back in the Cataclysm days, about what six years ago now. Yeah, I, I guess about when I stopped. And uh, I started up a guild. It was the Drunk Tanks because the podcast used to be called the Drunk Tanks back then, or Drunk Tank. And uh, we had like 500 people in the guild, and we got to a point where we started raiding. We started raiding like you know two or three times a week. And Gus raided with us every single time, but he never spoke, so no one ever knew it was him. He had, he had a name that was just, you know... It was uh, like, whatever. Yeah, I don't even remember what it was. Yeah, it was some, some gibberish name. And he was the only one who wouldn't be on, like, TeamSpeak or whatever. <laughs> and I'd be like, oh, don't worry, he's a friend of mine, you know, don't worry. Like, I, could, he, I he, would he, listen. And I was like, I he doesn't have talk. a mic. And yeah. then he, he was actually pretty damn good, which, you know, without having to talk to people. And so it was kind of fun that we were raiding with, with fans. Well, and even we, before the drunk tanks, uh, I used to do progression raiding anyway, with, like, an old guild. Oh, okay. Anyway, in a while, so... Like raiding was, was fine. Like I, I had plenty of experience doing it. It wasn't yeah. that wasn't a problem. But yeah, raid, raiding in WoW is like that's still some of my the most fun I've had playing video games. Like just the just hitting a wall and just smashing into it over and over and over and resetting and wiping and resetting and wiping and then finally beating a boss is like the the coolest experience Can't ever. Do it. Like sixteen players in a game. Like it's I, it's like rough. That. I was once in a guild that disbanded. It, it was one of the the more like one of the better guilds I'd ever been in. One of the, super progression. Uh, for some reason, I was off tanking for our B team, our B rating team, and uh, we were doing Karazhan in Wrath of the Lich King. Okay. Was it Karazhan? It was, yeah. The one with the spider? It was Karazhan, yeah. yeah. And, yeah definitely uh, Karazhan. <laughs> we were we were doing it, and we or, was, or was it Nurse Girl? No, it wasn't Karazhan. Uh, what am I talking about? No, it was, shit. Uh, no, 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 no
um, the it was flapper bait. Uh, oh shit! Well, no, no, that's, no, that's no, silver it was, um, it was, um, it was uh, Mortazol. Whatever, Mortazol. Whatever. Yeah. Mortazol. Mortazol. So we're in there. We're yeah. on the first yeah. boss, and we just can't beat it. We wiped three times, and then the guild leader was with us, and he just replied. And, and guild chat was like, "Fuck it," and then disbanded the guild right there. <laughs> wow, God. Like, that's awesome. Like that guy had a dollar. <laughs> that's no, 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 no. It was the 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 raid though. Uh, God, I spent so much time uh, in there. How can I not remember this? Azkaban. Uh, Wrath of the Lich King. They got that prisoner out. <laughs> Violet Hold? No. no. Naxramus? Naxramus. Naxramus. It was, Naxramus. 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 It was brought back right here. Good old appendicitus. Naxramus used to, used to float over Easter Playground and then they updated it. Yeah. It was pretty bad. <laughs> I, that's that's one game. That's we we played some WoW player? back in the day at Achievement Hunter, and it was because there were six the of us, and we played Priest WoW. Posse. The Panda Priest Posse, and like except you could only have groups of five. Yeah, that was that was the one problem. But like Jeff and I were actually really excited to play that WoW. That was the one problem. And then, <laughs> but that was the thing. It's like 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 the, the lads didn't give a fuck about that game, and it was just like, nope, guys, come on, this could actually be really fun because like we could progress and like make characters, you know and get what, good and do some upper level shit. And I don't think we ever released the video where we took on a dungeon. Oh really? Do we no. still have that from five years ago? We did a dungeon and succeeded with yeah. just six priests. We beat the one over by by crossroads. I'll tell you, I was one of those fans at that. With the big beat. like, a <laughs> big like, uh, grass monster or whatever at the end of it. Oh yeah, the one that's like southwest of there. Yeah, it's like a figure eight kind of kind of dungeon. Um, but I don't even know if that exists anymore. They probably they reset all that stuff after Cataclysm. That's, no, no, it was still it was still, was still there because we were we were we were doing Pandaria, so it was there oh, during right. Pandaria. I think Canarax is the tower. Oh yeah, yeah. Max Aramis, Jesus. Sorry. Get uh, a writer, pay the price. I'll tell you, I was one of those. I was one of those fans when those videos came out, and was like, Jim and Hunter plays World of Warcraft, and I was like, no, I'll just skip that. Yeah, one. I, <laughs> I think I actually loaded. You that were not alone. Got like five minutes in, I was like, no yeah, thanks. Um, yeah. It's okay, I'll just watch Minecraft again. It's just one of those games that I'm sure is very fun to play, but not a lot of fun to watch. Uh, yeah. That early stuff is a lot of just like, all right, we'll, we'll get a flower. There's several games that I. But think the thing are is, like it's that. like if you if you play that far enough and get pretty leveled up, like yeah. it's a lot of fun when a team works together and actually does some really good stuff. I know that's yeah. the thing. I'm sure it is a lot of fun. It's just like then the watching the team like sit there and be like, okay, so you're gonna go in, you're gonna do this, then we need this person to heal that person. But it's not always the most fun thing to watch. Fair. It's like just. You're not a part of it. Apparently, you're just kind of watching. It was good enough for the Daily Show to steal our footage. But. Oh, that's oh. right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah Daily Show. Daily Show uh, pulled our footage and used it in the background. Yeah. As a, John Stewart. Uh, yeah, they, 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 was yeah, on they, top they of covered it. our name with, with yeah. whatever, but they had the B-roll going behind them. That was, I remember that. That was pretty funny. That was back in the good old days when I used to make like custom uh, nameplates for oh, shit. Yeah. When we that's cares. the only way I, I recognized it. <laughs> When we had energy. Are you playing any other MMOs right now? or? Mm -mm. No. Uh, no, the only other thing I'm really playing is Hearthstone. Yeah. Do you play Seven Days to Die at all? Uh, I played it once. <laughs> there you go. So no is the answer. Yeah. That's, I feel like a lot of humanity is that way with that game. Yeah. Loaded it up and was like, this is a zombie game. People are talking about this. I'm never playing that again. Yeah. Yeah, I was that's, like, wow, that's this is basically a, what I did. Yeah, yeah that's, there's, there's a lot to learn here. Well, it's like no, thank you. Yep. <laughs> yeah. my, my Seven Days to Die experience has just been me going in a house like being scared of everything outside, a man walked in the house, broke the door down, and ran off, and then zombies flooded. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Well, all right. What an asshole. <laughs> he literally, I was just naked. Like, please. I think the only don't reason that me. game works for us is because, like, yeah, if like we had group. six jacks, I don't think people would watch it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like six people who are really good at the game and know everything about the game. I think the fact is, like, we have a jack who knows everything. is really good. Well, at I think game. Ryan probably. We have knows a Ryan who's really good. I just I had to go do my own thing, though. I'm not building the base. Yeah, right, that's the thing. Like, Ryan, <laughs> I want to go on adventure. Yeah, no, it's, it's kind of like like Ryan, Ryan and I are sort of like the sort of torchbearers. Like we know what we're doing in that game, which works out because I kind of stay at the base and kind of I'm like the the den mother, and Ryan's <laughs> like the sort of raid leader. Like he's the one who goes out and does shit and can do stuff on his own, and I can do stuff on my own. I kill. Michael yep. kills and collects. Gavin dies. Gavin dies. Yeah, Jeff, Everyone and Jeff has a job. Yeah, and Jeff, yeah, Jeff pretty and much. Jeff is the apprentice. Yeah, yeah. Jeff, I'm like, I need dirt or I need clay. He's like, all right. And he just like does that for like a whole episode. It's like, awesome, Jeff. Thank you very apprentice. much. Apprentice. <laughs> yeah. So, works out pretty well. That's but the I, I, I still would like to do maybe. One's a lot uh, nicer. <laughs> like an Oregon Trail version of that. Where we just don't build a base, we're just like, we're going that way. Oh my god. And That'd just, and just to bunker down going. like every night. You just gotta way? bunker down every night That'd wherever you can. Awesome. The, the zombies are just a great idea. You gotta make yeah. you gotta get food as you go, you gotta forage. It's just like we're we're going on a trek. That could be fun actually. Yeah. Let's start that. Let's do a, a super long 
recording of that, and we'll start it when we come in in the morning and everyone's there, and then just stream the whole thing. We could. And could by you? the end of it, I mean, it, as you die off, if we're not building a base, as there's you no, die off, there's no I mean, beds. You know what? It so could you be... would just spawn way the fuck off. Oh, I, I will <laughs> say, it could be it could be a lot of fun to do that, where it's like we spend a day, it's like today is seven days to die day. And like all we do is literally at 9 a.m., everyone gets there, and we just start streaming, and we stream all day. And it's like here we are, and we have like we could do a seventh camera of just like a, a camera of the room, you yeah, know, and have that. like our six cams of our computers, then a camera of just the room. Guaranteed, something's gonna break. Yeah, oh, well, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yes. but I mean, then we then we then chop it up into like eight episodes, but we just film one day where we just play the same game. But over. here's here's the problem with that: we're chopping up a live stream into episodes. Even if we put live stream anywhere in the title. Oh, yeah. People be like, oh. bullshit! <laughs> when did they release this? Yep. Fucking Christ! I love Funhouse, though. They always do it. <laughs> <laughs> I like I think Funhouse is editing better. <laughs> I've got a 360 camera I've been wanting to try out with oh, you yeah. guys when that you do your live good. streams. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 One, of the, one of these days, I'll finally get over there on a Wednesday and yeah. set it up. <laughs> every Wednesday, every Wednesday afternoon, we stream. Ryan, could you, like, build a monument somewhere in the map and then, like, go back to, like, the starting point? Because then you could have, like, a go goal to reach to. Starting there is point. no I mean, starting you, point. Well, I mean, like, yeah. Right. yeah I, I could be, like, everyone reach the northwest corner of the map. And then we start there, there is like, no, okay. I mean, there is no northwest corner of the map. Uh, if you're doing it that's in what the, I was wondering, like, free, like, the random gen world, yeah. it's, I think it's infinite. Uh, I don't think so. Are you sure? I well, okay. I, I take it back. I've only I've, I've hit the edge of the world on the on the on Nevea's game or whatever. Uh, it is, yeah, or the Navazone or whatever. Nav it is. Yeah, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. I think the the random generated world. You That's can just top, go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Huh. So let's pick a direction and go. Pretty tall. Exactly. Well, there's a you know. Uh, is like, that true though? Like in because I mean we found each other. Probably correct us as we do it. I mean we found each other in our world. I, I imagine they said, not, but you, sure. You start in a certain area, rough distance from each other. But yeah, no, I think random gen. I don't know if it's got a limit or not, but I think it does. I, I could be wrong, but well, let's say it's like if it doesn't have a limit, then you should have like a goal. Use to off topic right? hashtag off topic go. ah and yeah, let us know whether or not you can't Ryan's tell me when to correct me. Like you gotta be watching it too, then, because people are sending. Hey, did you guys ever die in Path of the Frost on the floor, bro? Going to a new Barack and the trial of the Crusade? I'm like, well, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> he, but you should really said a new Barack pretty well. <laughs> a new Barack, dude. A new Barack. It's a mixture of a spider and a dog-headed Egyptian god. <laughs> All right. I, I got you, yeah. Thanks, pal. A new Barack. Just let you know the floor breaks in front of a new Barack, so fuck it. Good to know. Prepare. What are you talking about? Well, fucking no! <laughs> are you making it up? It sounds like you're actually talking about something you know about. It says, thing. did you guys ever die to Path of Frost? No, I mean like about the floor breaking in front of him? When and... the floor broke, going oh. to a new Barack. I oh, didn't know, I, trust me, he wrote it. I didn't <laughs> Well, did you die, Gus? Probably. Yeah. But don't worry, Cannon, Cannon Dowris is the tower. Good to know. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> so, uh, but that's an example where in Axaramus, I'm gonna fucking bore you with WoW now. It was like oh, shit. one of the <laughs> first <laughs> raids in the game that they designed for 40 people, and then uh, it went away. Like it was like a limited time thing, and then they brought it back in Wrath of the Lich King, and then they retuned it for 20, I think, at the nice. time. Did you ever that's play any 40 man raids? Crazy. Yeah, I used to do Molten Core all the time. Oh, dude, that's one thing I missed doing. Like I think we had max of 24. Maybe or is it sixteen when we were playing? I don't remember. Yeah, but like it was. A, I mean, it was still a lot of people. Like it's 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 so cool seeing like so many people working together to like take down bosses with literally millions of hit points. I can't. But imagine doing that. a forty man. Dude, forty. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you you break everyone down into like groups and like group leaders and then position everyone. More dots. More dots. Destiny's like my first and only experience with a raid and mm -hmm. like getting six people to coordinate to do anything and that's like fucking. I hate it. Well, that, that's the thing. No, just, I mean, just do it. That's the thing. Yeah. Shut up. That's the thing. When you do like twenty man raids, there is a little bit more leeway because you'll mm -hmm. have like you know six healers. Two or three tanks, and then you know, like DPS, and then you have yeah. like ranged and, one, and melee you can DPS. Be fair. And so you can have like, <laughs> Just one. if you have like one DPS who's like a super badass, you could he can help he or she can help carry someone else if yeah. necessary. So you know, as long as you're kind of middle of the road, like he's, you, you can have DPS meters and see how everyone's doing specifically. See, that's like, I mean, like, okay, what's wrong with your rotation? Tell me what you're doing, and it's like, okay. And that's kind of how I do raids to... in Destiny, where I have one Andrew Panton and then everybody else. Right. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's the like, best. So you have a golden guy. It's uh, the best. Someone on Twitter said, uh, Ryan, where was it? Uh, uh, Nicholas Delage says, yes, the random Gen 7 map, 7 days map, has a border, but they can get big. Yeah. A lot of it, people are saying that I, they all I have can, borders. Yeah, I've seen a place apparently where there's a setting that you can set for how large it is. Oh, okay. I mean, I know in that game I've walked <coughs> for several days in a direction and not hit an edge. Really? Now, maybe I was going across the diagonal or something, I don't know. But mm. uh, I had one game that I, I, random Gen, that I just never found anything, so I never stopped walking. <laughs> uh... I think I was at least on day 
six or seven because yeah. that, at that point I was fucked. But yeah. John <laughs> Newton claims the size of a random gem map in Seven Days to Die is ten thousand squares in each direction from the center. There you go. We also spelled so, center with the R and E flipped. Like it's an asshole. Oh, you can't just believe him. You should be singing that Proclaimer song, though. I'll walk 500 miles. I would walk, I would walk <laughs> 10,000 <laughs> meters, and I would walk 10,000 more. Squares. Squares. Well, part of it is, too, you're, is it as, if you're collecting shit as you go, it slows your progress how, down. Because you have to yeah. live. How bad will you all get at Tampa? How bad will we all get oh, it? Oh, okay. No, let's play live. He's probably talking about let's play live. Go to let's play live. Let's uh, roosterteethlive.com. Buy tickets because you'll never know unless you go to Tampa. Yeah. <laughs> Tampa's gonna be a lot of fun. We we have some cool stuff planned. I'm locking in the uh, schedules for all four of the shows today. Speaking yeah. of which, you guys gotta look at the schedule for me. Well, hey, look at this big to... graphic behind us. It's pretty cool. The let's play live right. East Coast tour. First time we've ever done anything like this. We're very very excited. Um, yeah, we've said last time we're doing GTA Five at all of them. Yeah. Um, Different, a different thing at all. A different thing at like, all. So if you go to two right. shows, it's two totally. Should different we announce things. the video that I talked to you about the other day? Nah. Sure. Nah. I don't know what are you talking about? The the thing that we showed once before and that we were gonna yeah, show go again. For it. So I can announce right now at every single Let's Play Live show before it's available anywhere else, <laughs> unless you went to PAX, we're showing the Achievement Hunter rap. That's right. We're showing the Achievement Hunter rap. Video form at uh, at Let's Play not, Live. Not, despite not that, video form, despite that, like... you should still go to Let's Play Live. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gus. Do not let that dissuade Thank you. Gus. <laughs> the uh, the Funhouse kids are working on some cool stuff. They've they've been keeping me in the loop on, and uh, we we have some fun things planned. Is Lawrence so. gonna bust out that? Leather suit again? I don't know. Oh, the the gimp suit. I don't oh. know. They they have it. So that was an expensive <laughs> thing. He his, better use it again. Uh, <laughs> oh. that, that took a lot out of the budget. <laughs> Actually, uh, <laughs> it has been used twice. Okay. Yeah. Michael was in it. Michael last time. wore it the second Let's Play Live. Oh, okay. Was it disinfected between the two? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. right, it was, it was thoroughly know. washed. Yeah. The creepy thing I'm about that. I'm not sure that we can deliver on that promise. Yeah. The creepy <laughs> thing about that, that when they wear that suit, they have to cover themselves in Vaseline so it doesn't stick to them so they can put it on. <laughs> yeah. But then you can see it's super tight around their legs and this Vaseline is just like eking, can't like oozing like, out beyond their Can't they their put like uh, talcum powder or something instead? Does it have to be Vaseline? No, it's going to be gooey in there. The stage is slimy as fuck when one of them leaves. It's just like. Gross. Yeah, gross. Gross. It basically turns you into a yeah, there, There's Michael wearing yeah. the, uh, the suit if you're watching on the, the live podcast Maybe right they could now. just like sled through something? Like they slide yes, on the floor? They're yeah. so slippery. Like Michael put that thing on and you could go like that on his arm and he was like Yeah. Like he was just like mm -hmm. your finger would just go. Yeah. It's super gross. So anyway, let's play live. Roosterteethlive.com by tickets. Still, still some tickets available so go check it out. Uh, we're doing Baltimore, Newark, New Jersey, uh, Orlando, Florida, and Tampa, Florida. Uh, I'm and glad you clarified New York, New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. I thought maybe it was like New York, Oregon or something. Not like Newark, Kansas. Mm. So, anyway, Is a lot there of really no other Newarks. Probably I don't know of any. There's a Newark in uh, South Africa. <laughs> and we're not going That's to that where, one. Yeah. <laughs> Bethany would like that. <laughs> would she? She's always trying to like push some South Africa agenda. I don't know why. She wants to have like an RTX. That's, RTX true. That's, that's, that's my that's my two worse. go. Probably one of my number one two go. Places. South Africa. I want to go to Cape Hope in South Africa, and I want to get the shark if, thing. If it was up to Bethany, you we would absolutely have an event there. I'm all about <laughs> it because I'm terrified of sharks, so I'm like fascinated by them. I just want to be in a tank with one and shit myself. I'm terrified of spiders. I don't want to be around a fucking yeah. spider, a <laughs> bunch of spiders. What, 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 you That's everywhere, a, like a spider though. cage. Yeah, but I don't want to get in, in a spider cage. Yeah. Like... Spider cage. Well, they get, the, they get those aliens down in South Africa, too, right? You can go see them before they fly away. Right, the that's a reference to a movie I haven't seen. <laughs> the Sweetie Man is here. Sweetie Man. Oh, mm, that creepy. reference I didn't get. Yeah, that's <laughs> the same movie. They, same he's movie? from Naxxaramas. Yeah. Oh, that's the tower. The tower. Originally from Dollaran, then moved to Naxxaramas. Right. Be careful of that. Floor in front you don't of want to Uberock, mix those up. Though. Yeah, no, it's very dangerous that's, there. That's an Uberock. Come on. Sorry. Be careful of that floor in front of. Yes. <laughs> also, if you're bored, <laughs> they're nerds. They're nerds. After you <laughs> do that, know. maybe you should go check out CISO. CISO? What's Ryan. CISO, Ryan? <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> Jesus. Read in a British accent. Cheerio. Go <laughs> 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 across the pond. Sure, no good laugh when. End accent. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll do it this one. All right, then. so I'm maybe not delivering uh, British comedy exactly, but I imagine that was probably pretty close. Uh, but you know who can? CISO. With dozens of series and hundreds of hours of comedy from across the pond, they've got you covered. Gubna. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> you said end accent. 
With CISO, you get unlimited access to CISO original series, next day, late night, hilarious stand-up specials, binge-worthy classics, including 42 seasons of Saturday Night Live, the entire Monty Python catalog, the IT crowd, and more. CISO is the new home for your favorite comedy. Britcoms, stand-up specials, bingeable classics, and more. It's all on demand and ad-free. Ready for the punchline? CISO is just $3.99 per month. That's not a joke! <laughs> I was out. I actually ad libbed yeah. that, and then it, the next line was no joke. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Three ninety nine per month for all the comedy you want, anytime, anywhere, ad free. Just go to CISO.com, That's s e e s o dot com right now to sign up for one month free with promo code off topic at checkout. That's CISO.com, spelled s e e s o dot com. Promo code off topic, spelled as you would imagine. CISO.com, <laughs> Promo code off topic. <laughs> Good job, Ryan. Thanks. You you read British comedy. British. Oh my Jesus God, Christ, man. Ryan. I know it's I, the worst. I think you even dented the table over here. We got to keep hurting it until Marcus comes and makes it better. So someone, yeah. I don't know if you That's saw this, in the table. but someone For sent sure. us a Ninja Turtle starter kits last week. Yeah. It, it's you literally. Mean, you mean Hero Turtles? Matt, uh, yes. I, I trust no. It no must have been Ninja Turtles because it had nunchucks and not a strapping. Yeah, it was it was a katana or two katanas, not katanas. They were straight. Okay, sorry. Swords, two swords, uh, nunchucks, a bow staff, and a size, and like heavy metal size. Heavy metal? Yeah. Heavy metal. Exactly. There you exactly. go. Heavy metal. Oh, God, that's not. Don't fun. hold that while whipping your head back and forth. Yeah, Jesus. Really be careful with that. Don't worry about that. I'm a little God, dizzy now. I'm just going to so go ahead and put that back in the sheath before yeah, someone boy. like me, irresponsible, does something with it. She even, don't worry, you're the only one not drinking. You're the one who absolutely should be handling it. That's, that's true. true. Gus, did you do anything during South by? No, like, actually, I, I, I largely avoided South by this year. I completely year. missed South by this year. Yeah. Like, t typically, like, usually, the last couple of years, we've had a sort of a thing downtown. That was like the the South by party, like the Rooster Teeth South by party, or full screen South by party. And this year, I guess we didn't we're, do anything. We're like back that. to old form. Yeah, it's great, avoiding <laughs> it like ignoring crazy. Ignoring the huge event in our own city. Dude. We go to so many events in other towns, but then like there's a huge one in our city. Like, nah. we well, have events. Also, yeah. uh, exactly. also this year, events. PAX East fell right over South by Gaming, mm -hmm. so that's sort of like it's kind of one or the other. And we've been doing PAX since the beginning. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was it's, it's crazy. I remember like when we worked downtown, South by was always it was fun, but also a nightmare. Because it'd be like, oh, hey, let's just go walk down 6th Street and find an open bar. And then, like, you just walk down and find a party. Let's like, find oh, what's free up? beer. Yeah, yeah. Like, until uh, the pita pit below us started having all those bands oh, God. performing. Bands? Yeah. Oh, bands. It they, was like they, they, had, they had a, one band. They had two uh -huh. bands that I remember in particular. One of them was a pirate cover band, and they sang pirate songs. Uh, and then the other one was uh, a band like called Black Flag. Yeah, no, like, 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 like kind of shanties. Oh, blow these wings so, I, But the other one, which was which was way worse, I still remember the name of this band. They were called Four on the Floor, and they had four drum, four drummers, <laughs> all, was, all playing it drum. Was, it, was like it, was kick, like, it was like kick drum the band. Like, yeah, it was, and it was like everything in our office because we were right above them yeah. was just like hopping. My external hard drive speed slowed down because they were <laughs> they were uh, vibrating so much on the desk. Yeah, that, that was a nightmare. They opened up for butthole surface. <laughs> <laughs> Surfers! <laughs> And so, uh, I like butthole surface. That's actually but, oh, there, oh, there they are! Oh my god! That's them. Them. Jesus Christ! Those sons of bitches! That's them! Yeah. That was literally four kick drums. They all had a goddamn kick drum. <laughs> and oh. so, uh, yeah, it was just a boom, boom, boom. And just like, just rattling the goddamn walls. We, like, we had to shut down that day. Like, we just stopped work. You're like, yeah. alright, let's go, let's go, uh, let's go close find, the studio. Let's go get drunk. Man, that, that studio is fun. That downtown is completely gone now. Like, there's a giant building on top of it. But remember, I just remember coming in through the back door and like getting away from homeless people. Stepping and, over shit. Yeah, literally stepping over shit, human shit, to get to our door. That was fun times. Now yeah. we just walk through clouds of weed. <laughs> Art and How way we advanced. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there were definitely clouds of weed downtown, too. And, and yeah. sandbags. What the sandbags are? Yeah, the like sandbags how, are fucked up. I like how they got put down and then. There's like no responsibility. They're just no, they're, 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 they're there forever. They're, they're slowly eroding. Yeah. It's true. I don't know they're if they'll leave it in or inside. not. But those sand during school shooting, I ate shit because of those sandbags. Yeah, that part that hasn't gone up yet. But yeah. yes, you totally. Yeah, I don't know. Shit. So I don't know if they're gonna leave that that part in the episode or not. Also, at one point, the kids run through that door, so it's a huge safety. Hazard. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Oh yeah. But it's they swept sand. it down really. They well didn't sweep it did. yeah. after yeah. I fell. Yeah. It has now gotten terrible again. Yeah. But Ep episode four of Schooled came out this week. Yeah. And that was a lot of fun. That, that was, was the midterm. 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 So it was like us playing games with the kids. 
including Cloudberry Kingdom, which I got very excited for, and then I got to play all about 10 seconds of it. Wow. Yeah. Also including Great. Move or Die with our faces. Yeah, yeah. Our faces yeah. in the game. That's awesome. The devs of Move or Die put our dumb faces in the game. That's I hope so they're rad. still there. We should go play. Is it just the retail copy? Like, if you yep. know the code, can you just put it in? Yep. Damn, I was in that Extra Life United thing, and I played Move or Die. We totally should You should have done it, yeah. <laughs> just you drop my face and run around with myself. <laughs> It's also not a very complicated or difficult to de ascertain code. No, not at all. <laughs> you almost got through that sentence without stumbling I a did. couple times. That's so. okay. I was just thinking you, about you, like how much I should say. You got through the ad reads fine, though. Thank I'm you. I did. You. I was yeah. really I was focused. Cheerio. I like I like I like being on a show where I don't have to do the ad reads. Right. Cheerio. Yeah. Yeah. So I can just get to ah relax. How many <laughs> podcasts are you on now, Gus? Uh, well, just RT for podcast the all the time. I thought you were on. Oh, wait, no, I guess Patch is gone now, right? So yeah, we uh, we actually. I don't know if I should be saying this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Don't do uh, it. Don't do it. We, we, we filmed a couple of uh, moon, test yeah, episodes. <laughs> we filmed some test episodes. Some test episodes, like trying to figure out like new formats and the way it should work. And uh, it should hopefully be coming back here pretty soon. Okay. I think we're narrowing down the range of names and uh, just trying to make the format a little more lively. Cool. Cool. So I, and I think uh, the most recent test we did, I thought, went really well. That's good. All right. Um, so someone wrote something on the. Uh, That's clearly in Japanese. I think it's Korean. Think it That's it? Korean. Oh, okay. Hold on. And so I said, translate from Korean. I can't read the hashtags okay. because that didn't translate. It looks like it still ends with hashtag off topic ah, but it says, Incheon Kumi Dong, the expression some hashtag to seat gourmet gourmet hot ride come say hello Dong Dong Gu. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs> dong, dong, Dude, who's running the board right, today? You guys are on top of yeah, it. Oh, I'm going to use, use Google Translate. Oh, I was just doing that right oh. now. Do you have uh, oh, shit. Shit. I have to download Korean. Yeah. Oh. I, I have Korean <laughs> installed for offline Korean. use on my... There you go. So on you, my, you have to scan it? Yeah, oh, I was going to... Okay. Yeah, hold on. Oh, wait. Okay, there we go. I got it here. Okay. okay. Looking for Korean text. It's everywhere. Okay. The hashtags are... It looks like it's an address, actually. Oh, huh? we should read that out loud. Are they mailing us something? Uh, some kind of soccer field. Soccer field. <laughs> yeah, Antron, this is all. This is all an address. Uh. Yeah, this is an address. Gagnum baseball well, field. Gummy style. <laughs> is that huh. Gummy. Style? Gummy Express. That's it. Really? Yeah, that was. That was. The fuck is this? I'm. I'm sort of depressed. I thought it was going to be some hidden message that would lead us to treasure or something. <laughs> <laughs> what? It, it's an address. There might be treasure. Oh, there might be treasure. Yeah. All right, someone get to Gummy Gummy Field. What was it? It's <laughs> gummy Gummy Gummy. 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 Gum Dong like, Field. Like, <laughs> that's like a Mario Kart racetrack. I think it's actually like this gummy, is a trailhead. We just found a new ARG. <laughs> 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 My God. Oh, dude. You know what I'm excited for, Gus? You might appreciate this. Uh, I'm slowly becoming friends with the guys at 42 Entertainment. Which, those are the Ooh. guys who do, uh, they did I Love Bees. Oh, yeah. They, they're, uh, they're like puzzle masters and stuff. They did a thing for NVIDIA that called the Order of Ten. Oh, yeah, and yeah, so, I remember that. Yeah, so they're doing a bunch of other like stuff, and so I've been like making fun of those guys. Yeah, yeah, so Neither of those excited. came out yet. Neither I love puzzle, puzzle stuff. Around. Yeah, I know, you're big into that stuff. I love, I love puzzle and things. Man, have you done a puzzle room or an escape room? Yeah, I yep. never had an escape room. That's what my apartment No, that's right, yeah. For for Katie's birthday, Jeremy came out for one of them. I did the VR one. Oh, yeah, yeah, the VR one. I did the, the VR one where I was like in a basement or whatever, yeah. and I was in there for like 45 minutes. I think it's called the basement. Yeah, and I started getting like, I started getting dizzy, and it was like, all right, like I was ready to be like, oh, okay, I can't, I gotta stop for a bit, and we hit the end just as I was about to pass out. I cannot wait for the end of this month when hopefully TPCast is gonna release their wireless five adapter. We'll see. I, I know we were talking. You're we so were talking about this in the bathroom yeah. the other day for some reason. Great um, place for yeah, yeah, it's fair. We're but, escaping the weed. Club. Yeah, I was. Uh, I'm still skeptical. I, I don't know how. Any latency, Everybody any addition of latency seems like it would it would break it. Their goal is under two milliseconds. I mean, that might be okay. I mean, even then, that's movement in sight. Like you think that yeah, that would yeah. come into play? Look, your brain's not that smart. I, I, I speak for that. One. <laughs> I don't think Speaking it's two of not milliseconds. Smart. The brain's all about like <laughs> the brain's lazy. The brain it's what is we can lazy. we can exploit. The brain yeah. is all about filling in stuff mm -hmm. and about making assumptions. As long as you can play within that gray area, you're all right. Here's yeah. here's the thing. If you use it too much, will you take it off and then be like, "Fuck, reality's moving so on time." <laughs> That's how so Gus is gonna become time. the Flash. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dog poop. Here you come. <laughs> it's uh, really you're just moving at normal speed, but you think you're going. Fast. <laughs> well, that was the other thing in my dream. I was like, I don't feel like I'm going really fast. Like I thought, like cause I was gonna go to. I used to live like off of Lake Austin Boulevard. I was like, God, I'm gonna go to Lake Austin Boulevard. It's gonna take forever. I was like, Wait, I'm the Flash. It should be like instant. It's like, Nah, traffic. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a guy yeah, in the middle. He's stuck behind a car, just running into place, like, ah. like running in a circle, just like slowly eroding the ground below. Oh man! So speaking of not smart, 
Whatever. Yeah, you... Oh, just an amazing suggestion by maybe Monica saying, you guys should do a stoned Let's Play. Ah! <laughs> definitely legal in this thing. Let's not, we... yeah, let's do it. Let's go to Denver or Seattle. <laughs> or let's and just walk out stone Let's Play. <laughs> technically, it's still federally illegal, but sure. Yeah. My comedy would not change. No? <laughs> That's my secret. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always stoned funny-ish. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ryan's yeah. secret. There you go. You've learned Ryan's secret. <laughs> I would love if that was true about Ryan. I would love if that was true. That I, if I was stoned all the Man. time. Oh, don't, well, Jesus don't have an Ryan. upward angle. Oh, come on, Ryan. Don't you gotta do be that. horizontal. Is, I don't want to do this. Don't do this. I'm not do, what's what's the name of that pirate game? Is it Fall? No. Oh. What's the name of that pirate game we were looking at? Uh, Black, Black Wake. Black Wake. All yeah, the Funhouse The Funhouse guys let us know about this game called Black Wake, and they've done one part in it already. And it, have you seen, have you heard of this game? No. It's a multiplayer like uh, like eight player team uh, naval battle game. Think so it's Artemis like, Bridge Simulator only on a ship. Okay. Yeah, and so like literally, it's like you have a captain and he controls the ship. And he can actually like pi like pilot the ship, and then you, he'd tell everyone what to do. Like, okay, uh, starboard side, we have pirates coming up. Everyone load the cannons, then everyone fire, and then you can actually like board other ships and kill them. And it, it's a ticket system, like uh, like battlefield style. Hmm. And so I, I watched their video, and it's like, oh my you god, you can like repair the ship, like it's. Parts of it will break off, and someone can try and like hammer back. So it's together. like a more and competitive, hardcore Sea of Thieves. That's yes. exactly what I was about to I mean, say. Yeah. We, don't, we don't know what Sea like of Thieves is yet, but I yes. played at E3. Okay, yeah. well, yeah, but we, I mean, yeah, who knows? Well, the trailer it's makes a big deal of realistic <laughs> death yeah. too, so because you'll just be like, there'll be a guy sitting there, and suddenly a cannonball will go through, and that guy will just go. <laughs> yeah, just vanish, just gone into but a cloud of. Blood. I was thinking, like, I was watching this, the, their Let's Play of it, and I was like, this 100 percent could be a Let's Play family thing. There we go. There's some footage. So, multiplayer, naval, FPS. FPS. So if you're watching it There's right people now. that got yeah, different like, things. Words. I love That's that. not the, the people that evaporate, though. But, like, to, like, to get your health back, you drink tea. And it's like, it's like a little tea. Well, no, I think that's only <laughs> if you're on the, 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 the British, British side of things. You can oh, be a pirate, I think. What's which up? We drink Achievement air. Hunter would be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say a weird thing. What was up with the font in that? Oh, it was like Times New Roman or something, right? <laughs> so it was like, it was like they're, they're so busy making a the game they couldn't make any graphics. <laughs> they didn't have many fonts back in Pirate. Well, it's, it's like it's like Alpha zero point one point one two. Like it's super super. Like they don't access. have a marketing team yet yeah, or a graphic no. designer. But it looked fun, and it was kind of like, man, we could totally play it. Like, it would be a lot of fun to get, like, oh, there's the kind of funny ship, and, like, the creature ship, and, you know, like, the cow chop ship, and, It'd be great if and us. the rest of the Achievement Hunter employees would come home. Yeah. Well, eventually, they'll be back. They'll be back. Someday. Jeff might. Uh, uh, the other ones will be back. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Jeff's dead. But, and we'll get Landon to play again, just to make him stay up till 4 a.m. Don't do that. We need our views to go up. Yeah. Uh, Are y'all going to do anything in uh, Andromeda multiplayer? We, yeah, did, we did. We did oh, one poorly We did one of the yeah. worst videos in Achievement Hunter history. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, it was because of technical issues, I think, more than anything. Yes, but, it yeah. was. It was. Yeah, keep saying that. Mm. It's like when Bart tells Krusty the Clown, like, no, no, the crowd was great. It was just we, terrible acoustics out there. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't hear them. Eat this guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, Actually, I, the uh, Resident Evil Seven Escape Room is in Austin right now. Yeah. And uh, I know the guy That's who I, I know the guy who it. made it, and uh, and I've asked him already if we could go in and film us doing it and save it until later they're done with it and then release it. So mm -hmm. he said absolutely. So if we want right, to do that, awesome. we can do that. Where is that? I don't know. It's it's they they rented out, they actually they were looking for space in Austin. They actually contacted us to see if that we had space to put them in. Wait, space, I, I feel like that, like that would have been a good thing to do like during South <laughs> by. Like that I think it may have been here. Oh, was South it? By. Yeah, they're they're here for like a month. So mm. yeah, I don't know when they started or when it was ending. But so is I it like uh, do they come at you or something? I mean, do we need to bring weapons or no? Yes, no, no. You, you do. That was really <laughs> impressive, Ryan. But. I did that, uh, I'm sure, uh, we released that video this week, but I did that, uh, that mummy VR thing with oh, Michael. Oh, yeah, yeah, how was that? By. It was really interesting, um, you know, it was like, it was mainly like a BTS thing showing the, like, zero-G stunt that, uh, that Tom Cruise does during the trailer, but, uh, I was like, I wasn't sure what to expect going into that, but the weirdest thing was you put on the VR headset, and then you sit in these, like, egg kind of chairs. Mm -hmm. They look like the chairs in the lobby of the moon office. Uh -huh. And then, like, you sit down, and then they, like, I would recline have back and uh, like, to, like, simulate movement. And at first, I was, I was really worried. I was like, has anyone, has anyone gotten sick yet? You know, like, do I have to be worried? Like, no, don't worry. No one's gotten sick yet today. I was like, yet? Like, <laughs> like what, what do you yet? mean by that? Today. Today. But, no, 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 it was like a guy with a bag of cat litter and, like, a broom. Like, it, was, yeah. it, was, it was totally fine. It was, a. Uh, oh, is that it? Oh, there oh, you that's go. us, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they had some props and stuff. Oh, that's, that's awesome. really good VR yeah, right there. Cool. It was it was cool because they let us like walk around with the camera and, and so this is do whatever you we and want. Michael, yeah, right. Okay, it was neat. Anyway, that video came out. Uh, this it's a men in black chair. Yeah. This, oh, yeah, that's totally. fucking. The, the video came out this week, and the guy who that's was like, who handed me the VR right? headset was actually like a Rooster Teeth fan. He's like, oh my god, I can't believe you all are actually here. I was like, well, no, it's just 
Oh, wow. so, so, like, cool so you are Tom Cruise. Well, you see Tom Cruise. It's like BTS when they're filming the 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 parabolic dives in the plane. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Because in the trailer, there's like a plane crash and uh, everyone has to oh, go free. Oh, wow. So they actually went into like a yeah. vomit comet thing? Yeah. So oh, they filmed, wow. They said they filmed 22 seconds at a time. Oh, and I, I oh forget. my God. At the time, they told us how many times they did it. It was like 60 or 70 times they had to do it to get everything done right. Anyway, so yeah, it's just cool to see and you can look around the whole time and, and just see like where the crew is and how they're actually going. Man, I would love Jesus. to do that. I would love to do that, the vomit comet thing. I yeah, would vomit, yeah. probably. You think so? You know, there's one thing now, like most... It's expensive, though. Yeah, it's very yeah. expensive. It was like 5000 a trip I, I thought something. it was like ten. Is it? But yeah, it's it's ridiculously expensive. Uh, the, one thing I can't do now, I can't do motion simulators. Like like ones where you like sit and you, you watch a screen and you, your car moves around or whatever. Really? Like uh, like the Back to the Future ride or like the, Sim the Simpsons ride at, yeah. at Universal. The one ride at Universal now that I literally I can do half of it is the uh, the Harry Potter ride, the the one uh, the Forbidden Journey one, because mm -hmm. like it's it's part like props <laughs> and like moving around, and then there's part like they put a screen in front of you and you're like flying along with them and stuff. I, I now when it comes to that, I have to just look down. Like I, yeah. I can't look at the screen because it's something about it being really close to me and having the motion. I just get sick immediately. I, I always get nervous about that. Like I don't get sick, but I always feel like I might. Like when I do yeah. like Star Tours. Yeah, yeah. Like I always worry about that. That Star Tours is a bad example because it's fucking old, but it's still first for the kids. Well, they, they have a yeah, reason. Yeah, exactly now fucking BBH yeah. rolling around. Oh yeah, damn. Sure. Yeah, they read. They read. When I got <laughs> it, when I went to Minecon in uh, in Paris, a robot. <laughs> it was at Paris Disneyland. He's a and they still had the old sense. original Star Tours. Oh, nice. Uh, no, it was not nice. It was like weird and run down. It was oh, bizarre. The one where you go through like the ice crystals and stuff, and have the the uh, uh, Paul Rubens robot and yep. everything. Yep. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's rad. Someone pointed out on the last podcast, I got to talk about space, theme parks, and movies for like the entire time. It was like the oh, best podcast for me. Finally ever. broke the trend. Oh yeah, yeah. Ryan's been wearing space shirts all week. I didn't realize that was until I even like yesterday. I was wearing a Wing Commander shirt. Yeah, I, it was like it was I SpaceX. Didn't even occur to you had a SpaceX shirt on. You had a NASA shirt yeah. on. A Wing Commander shirt on. And there was something else that was space related. I don't remember what Monday was. Was it but Nug then, Club? No. Available <laughs> now on Rooster.com. <laughs> <laughs> Store People told me last week you were talking about plane safety and automated planes. And yeah, I was, yeah, like, yeah. I was like summoned. <laughs> 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 No, yeah, that's that's one thing I was thinking about. Like the last flight I took was like, you know, we're working our way towards automated cars. Why not automated planes? We're They're already automated. Hey, someone yeah. got I mean, that's hey, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Be very careful of what you say about that. Automation in planes is 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 useful, mm -hmm. but it's nowhere near ready. It's not like you when you're doing an automated car, you have like a flat two D surface to worry about. Like, yeah, yeah. Once you introduce that third dimension, it's it's crazy. And I think well, it's, I, I, people would argue this point, but I think that a majority of Plane incidents are a result of over reliance on automation. Really? Like when automation goes wrong, that's why. You think so? Not under? No. Or human oh. interaction with it's, the computer? Well, it's humans like the... Do relying too much on the automation. And yeah. when the automation fails, not knowing how to react mm. to yeah, uh, the situation. It seems like there'd be less variables involved in a flying automation. But you have to deal with any of those variables very quickly and mm -hmm. correctly every time. But aren't computers yeah, you faster are like, than humans? What if there's like but a blink under, understanding in a way. what the issue Ryan. is? And you can't see. Well, and and also, what happens a lot of times with computers in like this clouds, situation is dumb. if they have a malfunctioning part. Like if you think about Air France 447, it was like it was a plane at full cruise, relying on automation, and the airspeed indicator outside of the plane froze. So the onboard computer thought it was stalling and crashing, and tried to descend. So the pilots fought it thinking you know, that the autopilot was fucked up, and they just kept going up and down and stalling the plane, but they didn't know what their speed was, and they realized they were actually just stalling the plane. Ah. And that's, again, that's an example of over-reliance on that automation. Okay. So, I, 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 I would not... They should have just get, opened the window, put their hand out, and they would have been able to tell they were still... <laughs> yeah, you know, like, right before they crash, if you read the, the transcript, mm -hmm. like, the pilot says, are we crashing? Like, they don't even know what's happening. That's sad. Because <laughs> it's dark, and they, they yeah. can't see the ocean. Yeah. It's like, like, the, the final seconds are like, wait, you know... Is that yeah. the ocean? <laughs> like not uh, not Good realizing that they've gone down five yeah. miles from the or six miles from so the, the sky. So the altimeter wasn't working either. Uh, they thought they were getting faulty readings because their airspeed wasn't working. They uh, thought all of their instruments were fucked up. They didn't feel like the the decline or the descent. Be no, because they were in uh, an uh, an attitude where they were stalling, so they were f descending even though they were pointed up. Oh my god! Oh man, that's terrifying. So anyway, the hope you're not one. getting on a plane yeah. anytime soon, because I will fucking ruin your day. God damn it, Gus. Whenever you have turbulence, do you like freak out? No, no. turbulence yeah. is fine. I just, I I just assume turbulence. like either I'm gonna die and that's it, or it's like there's no reason to worry about. Turbulence it, right? doesn't bring planes down. The only thing you have to worry about in turbulence is if you don't have your seatbelt on. That's the only way someone has ever died in turbulence. Is mm -hmm. turbulence is so bad that you get thrown up and like hit your head. Billy on. Mays. 
on, uh, <laughs> yes, just like Billy Mason, mm-hmm. on Dude, the roof of the plane. I got to write, I, I finally, I, I took a flight to Orlando, uh, from Dallas to Orlando, and uh, I was on American, and I did like the requested upgrade or whatever, and I got upgraded, and it was one of those first class that had a, about a traveling. ton of first oh, class yeah, we're into seats, it again. Yeah. and it was ones that like reclined entirely, like mm-hmm. the laid flat one, I was like, oh my god, I've never done that before, and it was a super early flight, so Katie and I was like, huh, I wonder what this works, and I was pushed, I was like, oh, I'm just like, oh, yep. and I just passed Pass out. right out, I was like, oh my god. Stop sending me Korean shit. <laughs> So, I'm sleeping on a plane is very, very rad. I was very excited for that. And then on the flight back, we did an upgrade, and it was just like a normal bullshit one. So I was like, okay. I'm normal yeah, you got the bullsh- normal bullshit. We had to be flight. peasants. <laughs> well, no, like, Damn. you are, it's like, you are a domestic flying in the air. Yeah, yeah. Instead you, of like, are, you, are, you are flying in, in the, the sky. <laughs> normal bullshit. Yeah, Whatever, well, you know, okay. It was the lay down seats. I was like, we got really lucky with that. It worked out really well. I was able to sleep. I've probably talked about this before, but like, I haven't, I didn't fly much for like the majority of my life, and now it's like I fly, you know, a couple times a year, and I'm like, holy shit, this is incredible. Your first flight. Was yeah, was to here. To here. Yeah. So it's like I'm still amazed that we get like a giant metal box mm-hmm. off of the ground. It's a cylinder. Yeah. It's a yeah. cylinder. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's more of a rectangle. I don't need to. Oh, a circular box. <laughs> but whatever. Yes. Exactly. No, Thank uh, you. No, I'm with you. I still yeah, every yeah, time. Too. I'm still like every time. I'm like. It's Wide crazy. eyed, like I love it. I yeah. think it's an amazing thing that uh, that we're able to. And then do. I see like some asshole like two rows in front. He's like sleeping on the window. I'm like, look at it. You fuck. It's a fucking amazing. Well, no. Thing. Okay. Dumb I hate shit. when I'm coming in on a flight or something, and then um, it's like really nice. You know, maybe I've just woken up or something, and then the dude next to me opens the window and starts like to go like oh, off the thing because it's like bright as fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, Lee, stop it. Like, yeah, we're high. All right, great. <laughs> no, the worst is when it's open and the sun's shining directly in and it's hitting you in the face. Yeah, you're like, yeah. Ugh. you're like on the other side of the plane. Like, Close it, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. It's like four rows up and across. Like, yeah. oh, I saw that PAX. I was that I was sitting in the aisle seat on flying to flying to PAX. I was sitting in the aisle seat and the, <clears> the dude in the middle seat. Like, the window was open, but he just refused to look out of that window and wanted to look out of the window on the other side of the plane. So I'm sitting here, and the dude's next to me like this. <laughs> like, leaning, like, his face is here. And, like, so if I wanted to look out the window, I couldn't, because then I was, like, almost eye to eye with him. So I just had to try you, and, like, avert You should have just gotten in real close, yeah. like, there was a window next there? to you. What are we looking at? <laughs> Show me annoying. Too. God damn it. Or you just go for the kiss. He's like, oh, I thought you were reaching in. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to. He was in a looker. Um, <laughs> so, someone, well, or people keep asking, ever since we talked about Let's Play Live and said that we're showing the AA trap, people are like, when yes, is yes. that officially coming out? Great question. The, the issue with that is that there's been talk of doing like a full music video style thing where it's actually us like doing the rap, like video of that rather than like the other ones, which is just clips from other videos. Um, Still don't know if that's necessarily happening. It it, uh, it might. Sounds What's the hold up? Make it happen. Yeah. I would love we to make no it happen. We have no one here. Half of the machine hunters gone. <laughs> that's the thing. I, I would love to make it happen. And if we do make it happen, because I, we're talking with someone outside of the company right now. If that doesn't work, maybe I'll talk to live action here and see if we can do it, you know, just in the company. But either way... <laughs> We only have three of us that are in the rap yeah. here in the building. You know, Jackson, I just, Sabbatical, I Michael, think, Gavin, I rap. think we should do classic rap video style where it's like we pull old raps and just like recreate those videos. So I want to do like the Missy Elliott like inflated suit with the silver <laughs> and like the, you know, dancing around. I just want to do that part for mine. Yeah, sure. If that's, that's fine. Okay. One of the people that we're talking to makes rap videos and stuff like that. And he's right. really goddamn good at it. I can go with your coat. <laughs> or, or you can just shove it up your ass apparently. Yeah. Uh-oh. No, oh, no, 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 and uh, yeah. yeah, I like Is that. Is that Cat Boomerang? Yeah, Cat Boomerang. And you'll never believe it, Elizabeth Banks. Oh, she in it too? No. Okay. Oh. And She's you'll gonna never believe it. Someone, someone asked if we've seen the Rick and Morty season Actually, three premiere. Hell yeah. 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 Rick and Morty well, season three was great. That was a nice April Fool's joke. April Fool's. I saw Bax yeah. and I wanted to watch Bob's Burgers. Oh, <laughs> I heard yeah. that clip too. I was like, it's not Bob's Burgers. Yeah. <laughs> it was cool. So they showed the season three premiere of Rick and Morty on Adult Swim just on repeat for like six hours. So it was just like you had to find Was like, that the really the premiere though? Because I felt like it started halfway through the through a story. 
No, no, no. You probably you probably got to it and it was like, oh, it was halfway through. Oh, no, 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 because I rewatched the next one. It did in the sense that it was continuing from the last episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right, right. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Because the last, I guess we can talk about it. The season two ends with with uh, Rick going to jail. Right. And so this one starts with him in jail, and then it's like, okay, they're trying to figure it out. And like Nathan Fillion's in it. It's awesome. So, Nathan yeah. Fillion is everywhere now. He is. Yeah. He's a I'm really good voice actor, though. Yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, he's, in he's Kate Six, right? Yeah. He's, in, yep. he's Kate Six in Destiny. He's uh, he was in Rick and Morty. He's in like Modern Family. Oh, is he? Mm-hmm. He's in that uh, uh, Castle show. Is that still going on? No, that's done. Got wrapped up. Yeah, he's Kate Six in that trailer. I love that Destiny Two trailer. It's like. Okay, we're not taking ourselves seriously, and that's what I really, really like. Yeah. I, I like that the yes. first Destiny was very much like, yes, us, we're gonna protect this planet, blah blah blah. And this one's like, oh, I was there too, pew pew pew. And it's like, oh, okay, that's... I was there too. <laughs> I, I, I like that. I, I like that. I like when games are like, oh, we're a video game. We should have some levity to them. Like, that's that's, that's what, like, they yeah. kind of started doing. Yeah, that real life, fucking King, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Taken King, like was where they shifted from being like, we're a super serious shooter to like, yeah. Well, well, it's funny too, because they. <laughs> um, like, but there were some grimoire cards that talked about how, like, it was Kate Six or who? Who's the uh, the Titan guy? Um, Kate Five. Zavala. Uh, Zavala, like Zavala, one of his grimoires. That's an Ramus. It talked about uh, how, like, he was tired of people jumping on his table and dancing in front of him. And I was like, oh, it's like totally pulled from the game. Or was like, yeah. oh yeah, the people's going. They love to do shit like that. Yeah, it's like, like oh. okay, you've had the little Easter egg in it. And yeah, yeah. Shit. I love that. It's, it's funny because like I still do that. Like I was playing the other day, I like jumped up there, like, hey, I need quest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's the best. Give me that quest. That dude, that fucking loot cave. Oh, right dude. Now. Oh. Well, it's funny. It's, what a great time! It's funny because I'm on the de- I'm on the Destiny subreddit. This is one of the ones I look at every now and then. And every now and then you'll get yeah. some like, "What is this thing? I, I found this this cave over off, of, like, off Earth. What's this thing? I don't know. I pushed the button and it said like something about the bones. And it's like, oh, yeah, you're you weren't here. You weren't here. You weren't You weren't here for that. You don't yeah. remember? Shoot your gun into a cave. Get loot. Yeah, that was the thing. Over, like, yep. I remember you guys in the main room doing that for like. Hours mm-hmm. and like then one of them you yeah, and me jumped in. Yeah, we did it and just, it sh- we showed up and they just happened to be there. Yeah, like, like you oh, guys just happened right. to be out front. We weren't in your party or anything. We just happened to join the same world and uh, so we just sat out there with you guys. And all I remember is like one time running in after everyone was dead and finding a legendary engram, which was like the rarest thing in the fucking world. And they always turn into a blue, but whatever. You would like run and get it, and then it like alerted everyone else in the game that you found one. Yeah, yeah. So like I ran in and it was like Jerome six one zero one found a legendary Ingram and then like went back out and took my spot and then like eight rockets hit me. <laughs> <laughs> you fucker. Yeah. Well, that well, was back in the day. You were still nowhere near as bad as Gavin. Yeah. Oh fucking yeah. Gavin! That, he had the lucky. He got like so many exotics out of that thing. But yeah, that, that was thing too because like they would burn down. So like you get you might yep. get an exotic Ingram and only get like it's a normal weapon. Get a blue yeah. or something. Yeah. yeah. I think the exotics were much higher chance you get something good. Though. Yeah, but. I fucking, anyway. I, like, quit playing with Gavin outside of work because we did uh, the King's Fall raid. I literally, throughout the entire raid, only got moldering shards the whole time. Wow. That was what I walked away with. And Gavin's like, oh, I got the full set of armor. <laughs> yeah, he did. Mold. He got a ton fuck, of shit. Fuck yeah. you. He's, He's like, chew you. <laughs> Governor? British accent. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I'm excited for Destiny 2 though. I'm I'm really really pumped for it. I, I I love I love any sort of like multi cooperative game. Like that's that's mm-hmm. so much fun. And like like Destiny does that better. And then I mean it, as far as shooters go, it does it better than anyone else. Mm-hmm. I mean not a lot of other people are doing that. But like PVE six player cooperative rating is like the best. Like that to me is like that's that's my favorite part of Destiny. I'm that's, really interested to see how uh, what the reception to two is because you know obviously the first one had such a rocky start. Yeah, yeah. Really. Um, it was all about the negative press around mm-hmm. at the time, and I think you know they really tried to retool it and refocus it, and uh, and I think that's really showing now with the trailers we've seen and the tone they're taking with Destiny Two. So I think that, uh, and even their tagline was it "New Legends Will Rise." Yeah, I yeah. think that's good. Like trying to get new people back into it and get people restarted into the series. I think it's a it's a smart move. So I'm really yeah. curious. I'm, cu- I'm curious what they're gonna like, do for legacy players. Like they they have to do something. All their shit's for, gone. Uh, yeah, all your shit's gone. But they're gonna do something where it's like, okay, if you've been playing since Destiny One, and because they track maybe, all of that shit, maybe you'll get to keep a ghost pet or something. Because yeah. the ghosts didn't show up anywhere in the trailer, so maybe they're I gone. No oh, really? dingle by. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe you'll find like the destroyed tower, and it'll be like press X to reclaim your shit, and it'll just, like, <laughs> fall apart in front of you. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. Oh, well, something went wrong with the transfer. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, I hope they do more six player shit. Yeah, like yeah. outside of raids, if we could do like missions and strikes, that would be six cool. People, be Honestly, like, if they cool. if they had like special like twelve man raids, fuck yeah, that would be awesome. Like the more people you can throw in there, the better. I don't think they're gonna do that. I don't think that's counter. Like, like their I don't stuff, think they yeah. will, but 
that that would be really. Cool. Like, it is weird though that the missions mountain. were always three, and then the raids were yeah. six. It's yeah. odd that they had. That well, like, well, it's, 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 it's even like even WoW did that, where instances were five, and then raids were yeah. twenty or forty yeah. or whatever. Like I, 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 I can understand that philosophy. But even have like six three on just very, like patrol yeah, three would be great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but I mean, like I understand like doing larger groups for raids, just because like that's if you're making it to the point where you're like ready to do raids, like okay, you're someone who's paid attention, you've made it far enough in where they literally like they they won't allow you to get in until you have a certain light level. So it's like okay, you have to have been playing a lot, so you have to know what you're doing. So instead of like someone's randomly like, oh, I'm gonna play a raid now. Like, yeah, you, no, you no. have to be playing a lot. You have to know what you're doing. Exactly. You can just walk in, not know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, I think the, uh, we pulled Matt into a raid one time. I was doing the hard mode Vault of Glass, yep. and I was like, we had one, one person drop out, out on Atheon. I'm like, hey, Matt, you play Destiny? He's like, okay. Had never done a raid before and jumped into Atheon on hard mode. Yeah. And we beat it. We and actually he, managed to beat it. And like, for a while, you're like, you know, do that. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? What's happening right now? Uh, that's Atheon. I think it looks cool. What's, what's going on? <laughs> so, I've done any of the new raid stuff. I want to go back and, and yeah, play. People ask me if we've done the new hard raids, and uh, nope. We have I not. Don't we, I don't think we will. I we do, might. Probably not. At this probably point. not. I did Crota the other day, and uh, I started Atheon and got like halfway through with it, and our group just couldn't beat the Templar. Really? Yeah, it's like what well, we're trying to also do with challenges, so it's like you have to stop them from teleporting around the area. Oh, okay. That's pretty rough. Like, just. With like six people that aren't necessarily super versed in how it's What's changed. the point? See, what's the point? Yeah, you what's your like, end game here? I don't know. I want you to just have a better vault to burn down when two comes out? Pretty much. Like, that's basically it. It's like, it's going to be like, You hey, want to stand in your golden I, temple I, as I it maxed, melts around you? I maxed you. that character and then just be like, oh, he, he died. No, <laughs> he, lost he just lost shit. all his shit. <laughs> and it turns out, clothes make the man. I'm, ter <laughs> I'm terrified of mol molten gold ever since that first season of Game of Thrones now. <laughs> someone get encased oh, yeah. in molten oh, gold. Someone got pour it on them. They get yeah. It was, that it a was, crown of gold. It was Khaleesi's brother. It was the or Daenerys. Daenerys. Daenerys yeah, brother. yeah, yeah. He was not. A Did you not watch it? No. Oh, yeah, they. Uh, he kept wanting to be made king and given a crown of gold. So someone melted a bunch of gold and just poured it over his head. <laughs> Not a great way to go. I no, would no, it was, it was no, Aqu Aquaman, Aquaman, did. Aquaman, Aquaman did it to him. Yeah, he's like, you want yeah. your crown? And like made him a golden crown, crown for a king. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot of screaming. I would imagine, well, he was until it dragon. turned into... Yeah. Yeah. The first season of uh, Game of there Thrones. There it is. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. The Gilded yeah. Man. <laughs> but yeah, that first season of Game In of Thrones. In the Thrones. screenshot, it looks like... a lot more Nickelodeon-like. Uh... Like you got slime. Yeah. No, that's that's actually <laughs> oh. a shot. That's a shot from Aquaman. Do we have one from Game of Thrones? That we... <laughs> no. <laughs> nice try. Okay. That one's not even on the docket yet, right? Like, Aquaman? Yeah, when's no, that coming out? They're working on it. Next year, I think. Yeah, it's already it's already been filming. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, what's his name? Is filming it, but yeah, Jason Momoa. Jason yeah. Momoa. Yeah, he's a. From what I heard, he's like a really nice guy. Like everyone I've, ever, like everything I've read about. I mean, him. he came yeah. up through Stargate yeah. Atlantis, so you have to oh, be yeah. kind of humble if that's your origin <laughs> story. Oh, and now he's Aquaman. I, I get and now he's is. Aquaman. <laughs> Makes sense. Talks the fish. Um, yeah, I'm not at all excited about Justice League. Like, I, yeah. oh, it can't be that fast. Uh, honestly, I, I, I did not hate Batman versus Superman as much as most people. It was not a great movie, but. It yeah, was okay. Exactly. It was, it was they could have cut some of it out, and it yeah. would have been better. Uh, like but the the ending, they could have cut that. Yeah. <laughs> also, the the fucking when uh, Batman or Ben Affleck's discovering like the uh, the other superheroes, like Cyborg mm -hmm. and oh, that was Aquaman, just so, and so really Flash, like, oh yeah. come on, come on. <laughs> and then like the, the then every time you see Wonder so Woman, that same music <laughs> plays. Yeah, I was like, that. I get it, it's Wonder Woman. <laughs> well, even like that trailer, like the trailer for Wonder Woman, the trailer looks great, but then it's like all this real cinemat cinematic music, and then they kick in with that guitar riff, and it's like, oh, this doesn't work for it. It's mm -hmm. just... Yeah, I don't know. I, I like I've I was excited for Wonder Woman. Then I've heard uh, <laughs> early reports are not that great on it. And it's like oh, too damn bad. It. Which is like Suicide Squad. It's like oh Suicide Squad looks interesting. And then it's like oh oh no that's horrible. That's yeah. Not I, a good so movie. since I d I was not so Yo, upset with Taurus Batman versus Superman, I decided it's like oh maybe I'll, I'll watch Suicide Squad. Maybe it's <laughs> it'll be the same deal. No. Oh, I'm no. sorry. I decided I would watch Academy Award winning Suicide Squad. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say won an Oscar. Calm down. Wait for what? For makeup. Makeup. Yeah. yeah, it beat out Star Trek. No, which Star Trek actually had a lot of cool oh, makeup. beautiful. It's <laughs> my go-to line every time from Suicide Squad. <laughs> yeah, Suicide Squad. You could remove Joker from Suicide Squad entirely and would not affect that movie at all. No, like zero affection. Affection? Sure, why not? Sure. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was the one thing. Was like they made this huge deal about Joker, and it's like if he filmed. Well, apparently they tried to in. remove Joker from Suicide Squad. Well, no, apparently they filmed a lot more. I think yeah. they just didn't put a lot of that. They stuff took there. a lot of Joker out. 
But it's like he's completely does, has nothing to do with the movie at all. Like, yeah. I mean, like Probably he's trying to get that. Harley, but other than that, it's like, oh, okay, we could just show that at the end. Like he could have been a PS where he just breaks in and gets her out, and that'd have been it. And like, oh, cool. Look at all the shit that was Joker. But instead, it's like this weird, like I'm gonna do cat growls and I'm sexual and weird and creepy. And, it was. It was not a great joke. <laughs> not not an amazing. Look, there was That's no. That's why he talks to Harley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was no weird, sexual weird, weird <laughs> thing. That's the best foreplay for him. <laughs> <laughs> no, the next Joker after Heath Ledger was always fucked. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but to an extent, I mean, at least they tried to they tried to get experimental job. and like yeah. tried something to but make it. But it's such like a hot topic Joker. It's like it really he, he went to like you know is is near his hot topic. But pulled Jack, out other stuff. he's damaged. Yeah, he's damaged because it says it on his fucking anyway. He's got a just so you know. But uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of that portrayal at all. Did you see uh, 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 the new uh, bad bad lip reading or whatever of uh, new not new hope uh, 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 Force Awakens Force Awakens yeah. with Mark Hamill doing Han Solo? He does a pretty, pretty mean good. Yeah. Harrison Ford. It's good. You can still hear it's Mark Hamill in there, but it's it's like oh I could I could see that though. Yeah. <laughs> It's like that's that stuff's pretty cool. That's that's a crazy channel that it was just like one guy. Do you know the story behind that channel? Seagulls. It was a guy who's I think is. His it's not in the dark, but I like it. Stop it I now. Think, <laughs> I think it was his mother was deaf or something, or she couldn't speak or something like that. And he decided to, to start, like, try to start lip reading, like mm -hmm. her. And so he would just mute stuff and just lip read along. And, like, he could kind of get it, but never get really get it well. And so he started writing it down. And then he put together, like, the first episode of it. And, like, just kind of, I forget what the first lip, bad lip reading was. Suit, snack. And then I put it out and I was like, oh, this is fucking hilarious. And now it's, like, a whole channel. Like, that's a guy. I, he used to do a lot of those uh, NFL ones, which were The hilarious. NFL ones were oh, so they're so good. good. They even made, like, actual TV commercials out of that, right? Did they? I think I saw one on television. Mm -hmm. They did the uh, the bad lip reading of uh, the the inauguration, the Donald Trump inauguration. That's oh God, brilliant. that was great. Well, it's so, so great because Trump only like has three mouth shapes, <laughs> so like he's yeah. not saying anything, you know. But oh man, good God. Yeah, do we want to talk about politics? No, there? no, 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 no. We started no, no. that part. Yeah. No. I mean, yeah, he's excited no, no. for World War Three. A lot of shit's happening. A lot yeah, of people out, are leaving certain for the missiles. positions, and that's all we need. That's fine. I, you know what? I, I do want to say one thing. Yes. No, this is not Here political at all. This is just like basic human thing. Um, You'd think about it. You know, I know how. No, it's, this is all I ask. All I ask. All I ask. If you're going to call in a missile strike, that's your prerogative as a commander in chief. Don't record a statement from Mar Lago. <laughs> 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 Do it in a place that's like God, their military. And white. No, I don't Jeez, care. I don't care who you God, are. Do it from a place leave. that's at least goddamn respectful. My like go God. to the goddamn White House. Go to a place with some get, general, get like, some military. Like, don't like be like, like don't get, rent like a Regus office. Don't be a, a Regus fucking, office. Yeah, yeah. I like, need a shovel in here to scoop up all these snowflakes. Don't be a goddamn. <laughs> God damn it! It's like a day trader of murder. Like, now yeah, let's go fire some missiles, and I'm gonna hit the back nine. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I ask. The, the, the I don't one, care who you are. I don't care. The one Just thing, don't do that. The one thing that really bugs me <laughs> is uh, that Syria is part of the of the the block. Like, it's part of the the, the ban he wants to do on immigrate, immigration. Which is like, and he he literally went out and said like, no child should ever have to suffer these horrors. But fuck them coming into America. They're not allowed to come into America. And it's just like, come on, man. Like if you're if you're trying to be if you're trying to play the Christian role of like we want to help the world be a good place, you can't say, well, you're not allowed here. Oh, we're know? gonna go down the rabbit hole. We go down the rabbit hole. Don't, go down the rabbit hole. Can, don't do it. I'm just, Step I'm just saying. Ryan, quick, that's, stab someone. That's my do issue. <laughs> That's my issue. I would have that with Getting anyone, better. though. Like that's if, if you're gonna say you like are. we we want you to be we want to take care of you and protect you, but fuck you coming into America. Like that's that's just fucked up. But it's anyway, anyway, that's all yeah, I'll say it's about it. Down. That's rough. all I'll say about it. Also, uh, we have a new Supreme Court. You justice. guys excited for Persona Five then? No, Dude. you made it. You did not sell me that I game. Did not sell I don't know well. about Persona Five, and Ryan came in and said a couple sentences about it, and I was like, I will never play this in my entire life. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that game sounds fucking stupid. It that sounds horrible. I mean, it sounds it's so fucking stupid. It's not. Shut your mouth. I don't know it's that right. it's stupid. You have to go to class and take fucking tests. <laughs> you do have to go to class and take tests. I mean, it's a video game. I dropped yeah, out of school. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that shit. Time I didn't want to, to do it twenty years in. ago. Uh, yeah, I have, I have zero interest in those style games. There was games. no point. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? My life's not shitty enough. Yeah, <laughs> I think the sentence that put you off was when I was describing the plot. It's like it starts in the future. And then I didn't even you, get to the fly. Whoa, was go this, for it. Hit no, me yeah, out. no, this, this, sell me this is the thing that, yeah, no, you got to be prepared for this code in. You start in the future and you get caught, and then they take you into an interrogation room and you're getting interrogated, and you get an option to say something like once in 30 minutes or so. Or like a real interrogation? Like a real interrogation. So right. it's metal The lady solid. does most of the talking. Um, and, you know, she's, she's getting you to tell your story, so then you 
you go back in time to relive your story. So she keeps asking you things, and most of your options are. The fuck is he drinking like sweet no, don't tea? Worry about it. Don't worry about no, it. no, no, don't worry about uh, that. <laughs> most of your options are like, I don't want to tell you, or I don't, I don't know. That's your responses. And then you go back in time to being you, discovering the whole situation, and people are shit starts to go down around you, and all of your responses then are, what's going on? And people won't tell you. So it's you in the future. Not telling someone about a time in the past when people wouldn't tell you something. Maybe that's their present, and then they have to go in the past. Yeah. <laughs> ah! to tell them. How many layers deep Here's is this Here's what didn't go? do it for me. Yeah. Ryan was like, you streamed the game. I did. I played it for about three hours on About stream. three hours. Yes. And you were like, okay, we're, you, you're not allowed to show anything past, like, July... July 7th. July 7th. Is He's what like, they, the seven, company seven, Atlas seven, has put a... Pretty hard threat on showing anything past that day. Right. So I'm like, oh well, that that sounds not great. Like, did you get, did you hit that and have to stop? Or Ryan's like, it starts on April 10th, and I think I ninth or 10th, yeah. I think I ended on April 11th. That is correct. <laughs> so oh, like, it's right around now. What is today? Like, <laughs> that's what like, that's actually, what I was paying damn. attention to. I was like, oh, that's like six days from now when we started. Yeah. Uh, when I did the stream, is like, uh, yeah, that, I'm worried that that might happen. But I think what happens is you get to a point where. You start just having the day to day. It really becomes like a day to day life simulator. So you can just go to sleep, and it's like the day advances, and you you go through days a lot faster once you get out of that initial. You're a wizard, Harry. Kind so of it's, so, so it's, a, it's like a narrative second life, basically. Uh, it's got a real strong visual novel element to it, at least leading off, right down to the. There's a button on the side, you can just be like, "Yeah, I ain't got time to listen to this." You just hit fast forward, and it'll just go like, "Hey." Uh, what do you think? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's those how are the two general options. You got to do that in Zelda. I, 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 I did. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna pick up Horizon Zero Dawn before that. Oh, though. it's such yeah. a good game. That I, game looks amazing. That, no, I, I, the I only went, thing that's disappointing. Oh, go ahead. I skipped Andromeda before it, so now yeah. that I'm, mo I, I mostly done with Andromeda. I'll go to Horizon. I didn't realize it until last night when I was I went back and was playing some more, and I was like, this is really Mass Effect One plotline-y. Hmm. Like, because you start off as kind of like... I did not like, like Mass Effect 1, so you're starting to lose no, me. No, 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 the gameplay is very different. Okay. But just the general themes, it's like you start off as kind of like this outcast, like remember he was like the first Spectre going to the New mm -hmm. Republic, and then you're like this outcast, and you finally get in with the the group, in this case it's the tribe, and in his case it's like the government, and then like shit goes down, there's an attack, we gotta investigate the attack, and you're the person for Everything it. Everything changed when the Fire Nation pushed forward. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like, well, granted, that's the theme to a lot of things, but it's like, wow, really beat to beat, this is starting to line up. But Interesting. after that, I mean, it, it's definitely gone okay. different course. So I did, if the, the plot bothered you in Mass Effect 1, don't worry, it's very different. It's mm -hmm. just the general rapper's like, oh, I can kind of see a theme there. Okay. Uh, but it is gorgeous. The only thing I don't like about it at this point is that... Uh, it's so pretty that I actually looked up what it looked like on the PS4 Pro because I was like, I, it's gorgeous already, just make it prettier. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't look really any different. I think there's like more uh, ground cover and stuff like that. Like it's, uh, it's just extra window dressing. Barely. I mean, that. Now granted, I imagine that game was built ground up, not for PS4 Pro. Mm -hmm. So it, it probably doesn't take as much advantage of advanced hardware as other games might. Yeah, when they announced and it's already goddamn gorgeous. When they announced the PS4 Pro, I was like, I'm absolutely getting one, totally getting one. Then I stopped and I was like, I don't even have a 4K TV. Like, what am I yeah. doing? <laughs> so I, I have not picked one up. That yet. may be the only bit of it. Because, you know, the, the Pro has two modes. You can do, like, the performance mode. Well, it's up to the developer's discretion. But there's you yeah. can do, like, just make it 1080 but run better. Or you can run it at 4K. Mm. And all three modes really didn't look that dissimilar. Three? Hmm? Yeah, I, I thought you described two modes and you said three modes? Well, there's the regular... Sorry. I just assumed... I included, like, the oh, regular okay. PS4 see, see, as an option. Too. I got it. Gotcha. Um, speaking of, like... Qualities is like, did you see that post online that was um, someone playing some sort of war? Jesus, Jack! Uh, Battleground. Or whatever. I, I don't know. Oh, I want to say the one with the I did, I did see it. I was going to low graphics. He's like laying in the, yeah, laying in the yeah. grass in a ghillie suit. And oh, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no one will ever know. And then it shows the exact same shot on low quality and all the grass is gone yeah, because yeah. it didn't load it. And it's just a dude laying in the middle of an empty field. <laughs> with <laughs> one piece of yeah, grass. He's like right right just like. That's awesome. Like, I love shit like I that. I wish there was a follow-up shot. I was like, you were killed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Immediately. Mm -hmm. He had all that four to talk. Is that a thing? Like, I wonder, is that, like, just poor game design, poor it optimization? Is. I've known people no, that's, do, no, that's no, a well-known thing. That. Yeah, a lot of people do that. You're, you're running on low quality, and it makes it easier to mm -hmm. spot people. 
I used to, years ago, this is not related, uh, but it made me think about it for some reason. Years ago, Bernie and I used to play this uh, MMO called World War II Online, which is like a World War II simulation, uh, but MMO style. And uh, like the front, yeah, the front was constantly changing and moving depending on which side was advancing. And uh, one of the tanks, I can't remember which one it was, it was still like a very early game. They were like, yeah, um, this tank, uh, the armor doesn't work. Uh, just don't get shot and you'll be fine. So it's like, you were in a tank, but the armor didn't mitigate damage correctly. So any shot would come through would just instantly blow you up. <laughs> or but, then they and so then they don't and then, get shot. And then they patched it, they patched it to where like the armor worked in one portion of the tank. <laughs> so if you were in the tank, you always had to keep like that that part towards the enemy and hope that you would get shot there and nowhere else. How is that? I All love right. shit like that. Why? I, I find so much. It's the same reason in GTA when you were reading about the new car yeah. and someone posted like. GTA released a new car, but uh, it's broken right now, and it always acts like its left tire is popped yeah. or like something right like rear that. Tire and immediately one and I both go, all right, we'll buy that thing. <laughs> Wait, let's make a video about that. And Ryan picked it up, but it was too late. It know. worked uh, yeah, it worked flawlessly. Uh, we'll just shoot insane. out the left tire, and then it'll be exactly the we same. We already did that. Or like, imagine okay. like a race with all the cars that yeah. like their left tire didn't quite work. You're like, God damn it! That's what I wanted. When we, we already did the things to do, it was like, no tires at all. It was yeah. called a yeah. uh, oh shit. I think it was like Skitty Race or something slippery like that. Slippery something maybe. I don't know. Yeah, Slippy Race or something. I think it was right. called. Slippy Race might actually. Slippy Race sounds was, like I a think like a, it was, a Star Fox yeah, thing. Yeah. I think it was Slippy Race. <laughs> that could have been. That that's a one. Jeff name. If you didn't do barrel rolls, I'd be very disappointed. <laughs> the glug glug slam. Your father would be so proud. Sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's the epitome of Jeff names in videos for me. It's Blood, 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 Blood Slam. slam. <laughs> no sense. No. Nope. A game where you it hit each other mean. into the water should be called Slam Slam Glug. <laughs> it be called yep. it Glug Glug Slam. <laughs> no sense at all. It's like, all right, sure, fuck it. See like the subtitle names? to Jeff's biography. It's no sense at all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's Jeff. It's like Glug Glug Slam. slam. Yeah. <laughs> Idea. <laughs> hit me again. Gus, when was the last time you went to Vegas? Uh, February. I was there for Dice. Nice, nice. You do any gambling? Very little. I was really? I was really busy this past time, so I uh, got a little bit of gambling, in, but not too much. Why do casinos around Texas, like especially like Native American casinos, casinos in Texas, around oh. Texas, okay, uh, how, like Native American casinos? How come they don't have craps? I think the one game they don't because have. normally they, they have. So the yeah, blackjack. I was gonna say Indians took enough crap already. Yeah. Uh, the town I grew up in on the border actually has a casino because <laughs> yeah. uh, there's there's a reservation there. I think it might be like the only casino in Texas, but they don't have. I don't know, like the licensing in Texas is different, where they don't have any normal casino table games. Okay. So like they have to have weird variants of games. Wait, are so they all licensed? Is that craps owned by somebody? I think it's like a type of gambling, or yeah. however the... the so there's, there's regulation behind it, where it's like you have to, like, it has to be a certain thing to make it fair. Like you can't just have like craps or like the house. Come on down to the cramps table. Cramps, cramps. cramps. <laughs> uh, but I, so I assume there's Get something cramps similar here. Uh, with like Oklahoma or or, yeah. or Louisiana, where there's only certain types of games allowed. Yeah. Because uh, because and and maybe they don't do craps because craps. Honestly, if you bet on the pass line for a new shooter coming out on craps, that's the only bet in a casino you can make where you have the advantage. Yeah, it's the best odds yeah. ever. There it is. It's it's 51 percent in your favor every other time. It's 50 or less. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to open an Indian casino. Native Go American it. casino. Yeah, I'm going to open one. It's called, it's called White Devil. <laughs> yeah, good. And, then that's gonna, and I'm going to open it up, and it's going to be great. It's going to be in Texas. How many casinos are in Texas? I don't know. I think that one in my hometown is the only one. Literally only I one? Think that's the only oh, one. then I got quarter of the market. You're going to need to be I, I Native American. They all, don't know that. There's I look Native <laughs> American. I think they might notice. There's, there's a probably lot like that I'm 90% um, Cherokee. <laughs> bitches. Come to White Devils, play cramps. <laughs> I think Jeremy is now really drunk. I'm not really drunk, but I'm having fun. He's, I'm not really drunk. Oh, is this slippery race? I'm not really slippery drunk. Race. Wait. That was yeah, because we were in, we the, in the lake. Yeah, we What's did it in the water. Yeah, because oh, you had to push you had to push people out. You had to just push people out. What? No. Slip and slam. Slip and slam. Slip and slam. That's a different one. There is a glug glug slam. Well, no, there's glug slam, but I think there's also like a slippy race. I don't know. Everyone stops to look at the video. <laughs> that like, I think, I think it might have been even a let's fail, maybe, that you guys were, like, trying to, like, pop all your tires and go, but then you couldn't work out, like, you had to pop everyone's tire and then get in all the cars and then start the race because no one was, like, everyone was fucking it up or something. I just That's remember, entirely possible. We yeah, fuck I just up remember shit all something like that. Because Matt I and I, we were that. in that one. Yeah, we were in that. That was, that was one of I our thought, first I thought videos. that was Slippy Race. 
I might be wrong. Maybe we renamed it in the middle of it. Who knows? It could be. No, yeah. We do that, that definitely slip and slam. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. That's fairly new because I remember that was one of the ones where Someone we just changed just the title. Call it Blood Lug Slam. <laughs> Go back. Red no, Blood, Blood Lug Slam is when you were on the roof. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. That makes sense. But uh, <laughs> people just post pictures of clamps. I love it. Clamps. They're clamps. You're clipping for a clamping. Yeah. Um, uh, you guys want to go play some more golf? We're oh, oh yeah, 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 we're in the middle of golf. playing golf it, dude. Golf it, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. It's golf games game. are fucking fun. I've got I've got a meeting. At They're more three fun than today. real golf. Yeah, they yeah, do. for real. <laughs> All right, you got a meeting at three. I got a meeting at three. Oh, okay. So, so we, we gotta, gotta do, do last call. Last and call, then, and then we can finish golf. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, let's, let's wrap let's it up. Let's do golf it. Yeah. You ever been to Top Golf? You're good. I'm not gonna. I've, I've never been. been. I'm so, I, I don't like going because I embarrass myself. Mm -hmm. So much fun. Like I one, would. one time, I almost hit the person next to me. <laughs> <laughs> like that's how bad I am. Like I hit the ball and it went like straight forward and almost hit the person like at the next pot over. I was like, I, I can't. That's this. impressive. I, I, other than just mini golf, I've about. never hit a golf ball with a club. Really? Ever. You, you, oh, so I'm you didn't do the thing where you're like. Why'd you do that? To the guy like you, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I should have. Watch it, asshole! Gotta yell four. Even better if there was no one there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's this do uh, let's do last call, and then we'll do okay. golf it, and then you'll go to your meeting, and Ryan, I'll be sad. Well, I'll be back. This is a meeting. It's about charity stuff. It's okay. You think depends on what the meeting's about. That's true. Charity stuff. I just told you. They're you literally just. They're said, I literally just said that. Okay. Bye, internet. He's under arrest. You know that. We we'll get more beer. I'm gonna get.